goofing around because this is goofing around time. Yeah, we can goof around, but just so, I mean, you might as well know that it's going on. Well, it would just are be it would just be a nice. We have, it would just, yes, we are, but we are not. Uh, there we, we go. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, still, it would just be nice to be able to use a logo. Yeah, it would be really nice. Uh, I plastered all over this place. Welcome to the hangout, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the hangout, <laughs> guys. Uh, hopefully. Um, you guys are back if you caught us for our episode today. I think we had a good one. Um, I guess we might as well do some announcements. We do this every Monday, 30 minutes after we end our Prayer Natural stream. So Monday, that's two shows for you. Uh, the first one is our Prayer Natural campaign using the heavy metal RPG system uh, created by yours truly. That doesn't mean uh, rocket. That doesn't mean rocket propelled grenade. <laughs> it could if we if we wanted it to. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we um, uh, so we do that show, and, th and that's two hours long. And then uh, and then we do this one, which goes for about two hours. That's me waving away. Get to get out of here. I'm live. We're working. Um, <laughs> we also do the, the I also do the stream by myself tomorrow where I'll be working on this table uh, we got we've been we've been making some headway on this soon this will be a nice bright colorful thing I'm always uh, there it's pretty fun you get to make suggestions and Hector will say no 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 God, but every no, once in a while no, <laughs> I do. why would you even suggest that oh lord no uh real quick yeah, table, actually, Hector, are, you gonna, good. are yeah, you gonna no, no, are you gonna are you gonna put like a ceiling over it or something to kind of yeah yeah so it? so once it's, when, once, it, once it's done there, there'll be um uh, that's oh look it's here as a matter of fact he's gonna laminate it with hector i got a krylon matte finish uh, yeah, waiting. Krylon, that's what that is. Been waiting, been waiting look to get at him, on Look at him. He's, just, he's gonna laminate. Stop that. Stop that. <laughs> There's a look. You can hear the can. Let me put it next to my mic. Uh, yeah, yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Moving on. Yeah, man. Quit making it dirty. All right, all right. Uh, I didn't make it. So anything. the pur the purpose of this show right now is to give you guys some value and some some CTRPG tips. But this may be changing. We I I keep thinking about doing another campaign where we can hang out. We don't have to keep to the strict two hour session schedule uh, that we do for a prayer natural show. Because man, that 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 show is uh it's rigorous, man, to try to get to two hours. You gotta lose strategy almost completely. Come up with things on the fly and just be like, uh this this is I, I, I I used a destiny point to force a car to monologue. <laughs> I mean, I was just like, I, I looked at the, I looked at the available options and I was like, there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh that was an interesting use on that topic. what do you guys think about today's episode before we get into our main topic? Well, we, we survived and we succeeded, so I'm happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you happy guys pulled. Twos. You guys pulled it in clutch at the end there. I was afraid you weren't going to make it, and we were just going to have to uh, leave that story unfinished. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. <laughs> when when I, I mean no offense, Yuli. I mean, there's whenever somebody says I mean no offense. That's the prelude to. I mean, I'm going to get ready you. to. Uh, let me tell you. The get ready to be offended. Did. Yeah, but, <laughs> uh, it's that. Uh, what was it? Uh, uh, hey, what are you guys doing? As these two men stand by a river with their backs turned to hey, him, man. and then he just takes his axe and. Ah! It's hey like, man, you back me me to bring that up or confuse <laughs> me with your logic. I'm gonna attack. <laughs> Oh, bad, Yuli. Bad investigation. When we got separated, I'm just up there. Um, I am the very model of a modern major general. Since since you brought it up, I was thinking of giving you a chance of changing one of your stereotypes. Um, Who? Because I, I, maybe it's completely flown over my head uh, for Dan, but I don't think you've been playing nerd 
very much. Yeah. True that. You could play violence. Psycho, psychopath. (laughs) (laughs) Sociopath? Violent yeah, I, I think you, I think you should put violent or short tempered in there or something. But I'm not short tempered. I'm a super nice guy. What are you talking about? I, oh, yeah. I, I pulled that, I pulled pull. that gun on that man out of the kindness of my heart. <sighs> Just pulled a gun on a drunk guy. Yeah, trying to force him. Into I mean, condition. look, yeah, you're trying to force him to talk about the worst trauma he's ever had in, in his entire life. Yes. I know how to do that with a gun. Yes. <laughs> See, we should just, we should just trade characters because you're, I, I wrote down jerk as one of my traits. No, well, you've been a jerk. You oh, didn't yeah. get, you didn't get a chance to be a jerk to the car today. Cause I mean, that was a car. It's a car, but you've I been playing a jerk, jerk very well. I you've forced it to monologue. Well. Yeah. And I didn't, I didn't oh. do any junk food or smoking. So I dropped the ball on that one. Um, yeah, well, uh, so one of the things that, uh, because, <laughs> uh, did, for you guys out there, this, this stream is, is hectic, hectic, very, very frantic. Uh, one of the, because we had the, the sound issues that we were trying to solve before the show, I didn't get to tell you today, guys, we really need to press that investigation and get it through because there's a lot to go through. That's so I didn't I even do. get, to, I didn't even get to say that much while the stuff going on. And I mean, I really had to press you guys and, and really get you to, to, to force force into that, uh, well, that I mean, investigation. Well, I mean, besides besides the gun pulling, I thought I thought I did pretty okay investigating. Which you own. were, you were doing pretty good uh, but until I, the gun pulling. Yeah, but I was pushing you. I was pushing you a lot. And, well, it's uh, really, I had no other options. It's like roll investigate to figure it out, or your brother's probably gonna die. So well, roll <laughs> roll investigate or roll gun. Yeah, uh, I understand there was, there was, there was a pressure. My character will investigate. Yuli rolled gun. <laughs> I, I, under, I understand there was pressure because you're trying to help your brother, but uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe maybe you're used to, uh, if I let you change that stereotype, maybe it should be unwise. <laughs> loose, ca- loose cannon. Randomly, loose cannon. Randomly makes unwise decisions. Loose cannon. Loose cannon. Loose cannon. Loose Randy cannon is the it. definition of all of those things. The cannon is loose on deck and it's loaded and it's just flailing around. What, and everybody's like, what. that's not good. I'm, I'm, I'll make you a deal. We'll call it a Yuli roll. And if I can't figure something roll. out, I'm going to roll to see how bad of a decision I make. <laughs> no, 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 no. There's, uh, let's, not add, let's not add more mechanics. You guys no, know. no. Uh, but I, I see what Hector is saying, man. If you were to swap uh, the you'll, – you'll wind up getting more destiny points. I'm not sure in, you've ever played nerd. Yeah, no. if, yeah. You were to swap, if you were to swap nerd for loose cannon, you would definitely get more destiny points. But I'm not necessarily loose cannon, though. Dan's a pretty, actually a pretty nice guy, and he tries to help people. So, I tried to save how many lives before you <laughs> murdered them, Sean? <laughs> I'm playing a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not a murderer. Different. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you put the gun away, but, I mean, you you stumped your whole investigation. You were definitely on the right track. Yeah. But you, I mean... Mistakes. Yeah, no, 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 it's fine. It's just you. I was hoping, um, I was hoping, uh, Sean would pick it up where you left off. But I mean, these guys, there's no sheriff in town. The the, the phones barely work. Uh, like there's only it's on population eighty. Like, well, plus the chances I don't of there actually it. being a sheriff. Where yeah, I don't like to metagame, so everything that uh, Yuli had figured out. I'm not privy to that information. Yeah. So uh, I was just like, I, so on that subject, um, I, the prelude is my, um, uh, my greatest tool in pushing the investigation because that way you guys have something to go on. Cause I know it's a shot in the dark. Uh, so I kind of try to balance that and give you guys like, uh, uh, make it so it comes off as an intuition that your characters have. Um, did you guys notice what this what this episode actually was? It was uh, the car was a video cassette rewinder. <laughs> no. <laughs> the what'd you think that episode was? Was Ty one of the cameramen, 
And the second the... cameraman was the car? No. Hello, Governor. No. no. It wasn't hello, Governor? Uh-uh. Uh, Ty no, owned the no. car, but he wasn't one of the murderers. One of the cameramen obviously possessed the car. There was a lot that you could have found out. Like I had, like I said, I, I, figured, had no I figured the girl had possessed the car somehow. The girl did, in fact, possess the car. <laughs> but why would the girl... And I was thinking that, you know, with the whole uh, Mordecai and Rigby regular show, Hello, Governor episode, VHS tapes. and So, it doesn't take the uh, uh, ghost in the Supernatural series to go to go bad that long. I mean, if you remember, even um, Bobby. Uh, Bobby, yes, thank you. It would it take him like a few months to start going yeah. renegade? <laughs> well, she'd been dead for two years, uh, so that's all it was. Oh, and I, I, the way she I, died I know, was you're... being run off the road and then dragged to the mine. That's why she. No, no, no. She was on the video. She was on the video. She, she was tortured to death. She was. She escaped. And ran towards the freeway because she was disoriented and didn't know how to get back to town. Uh, they did find her, but but like I said, she died from her wounds. So what made her um, possess Ty's car? She was trying to protect Ty. See, um, I don't want. I've I've never watched. I saw like they, maybe a half an episode had, or something of a uh, of supernatural. They were really. If you had been able to talk to Ty, you would have found out that they were really close. Mm. And they spent so, like after he bought that car, they go on road trips and do stuff like that and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I assumed that uh, as so, part of my investigation. But you couldn't break tie because you didn't have the speech skill for it. And I and couldn't you, do squat about anything. You did roll high enough that it wasn't a, a, a severe failure, so it didn't low, uh, raise the DS. But if you had been able to work him, mm. you could have lowered his speech DS to where he would have eventually told you all this stuff. Yeah. Except for you raised it by raising your gun. Yeah. By raising your gun, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, normally in a campaign, I rely heavily on investigation. I mean, currently, and I should probably, uh, next time, uh, I'm still waiting for 10 total points so that I can raise that investigation again because I've already got quite a few ranks in there and I need more points to throw. Yeah, yeah. But anyway... Yeah, but there are there are there are other things that help you in investigation. So, oh yeah, 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 to get the synergies, you know, and it's once the well, that's uh, that's the thing. Like the game, the game lets you set it up. If you like, wait, hold up, give me an empathy roll first, and then you can read the room, and then you approach the investigation a different while away, especially when you're approaching humans. Or, or you could, uh, let's say, you read the room and the room isn't good. Well, you can use that speech roll to soften people up first before you get to that investigation. All that. Well, you know, there's also things that uh, as you're role playing, you read the room. You know, I found out that the town was we're keeping this to ourselves. We're not talking about it. So I played on that. Yeah. And you found out why and you got some cooperation out of it. And actually, you lowered the the investigation DS on on the mechanic low enough on Roberts, low enough to where he was actually willing to start helping you at the end. Um. You actually, I didn't have to fudge anything. I did. I did have to speed through the the end of that episode. Like, uh, I mean, that's a, that's a, <laughs> that's that time constraint, man. That's that whole yeah. go 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 thing. Yeah, it was really go go go. Oh man. Uh, I see. All in but, all, it worked out quite fine, man. I mean, Yuli did pick up a it lot. Did. of did. It worked out really cool, and that last scene was actually that last fight was pretty cool. And Good way to go out on the episode. If if yeah, if you had ro rolled really high on that percentage, you rolled middle. Ah. But if you if you had rolled really high on that percentage, I was I was about to give you like a, a top of the line Corvette or something. Oh, nice. nice. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you uh and if you had rolled really low, uh you would have <laughs> Oh, since you brought up the Dotson, um it's hilarious. For a reason, and it goes back to what I was asking you earlier. Did you know where what inspired this episode? Christine. Nope. The Wraith. Nope. Okay. You guys aren't thinking uh, it was Night exactly Rider. the same. Yes. 
remember she, the, the the car was possessed by Catherine Kitty, not Kit or Tease. And it had a blinking red light. red light in the front, and it was a 1983 Black Trans, Trans, Trans Am. Black Trans Am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering why you gave me like her like her nickname. I was like, well, streaming wasn't available yet, so people didn't really have, you know, Katie Kitty Montana or whatever her name was. Well, <laughs> in 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 the local newspaper, it would have said Catherine Kitty Ortiz, but you guys were supposed to get the Kit reference. <laughs> yeah, and I didn't even catch that, man. I mean, all all the things that I'm thinking of. They're yeah, so you guys plausible. You guys, uh, well, you, said, you didn't say that the light was going back and forth across the no, grill. because that would have been too obvious. <laughs> that would have been you see too a car obvious. Behind you, and all you see is a red light. That would have been too obvious. But the entire time I was, I was looking at my notes for the episode. I kept thinking. <laughs> yeah, I was just like the whole time. My first impression of the blinky red light was uh, was uh, actually the cameraman with a red light in her face as, as he zooms up to see the torture in her eyes. I learned how to play that entire song on so, bass and guitar. I could sit down and record it right now if I had my equipment. I just... So the blinky red light to me was one of the cameramen's dead, but he's still terrorizing. That's what I, yeah, that's what that I really actually, thought. Yeah, that's actually something I was thinking the whole time because the last thing that chick saw was the was light blinking, blinking right, right in her face. Yeah, so that you know, was like, supposed uh, to throw you off, but it was her imagining well, the red well, light. Well, well, great job, it. dude. We're totally thrown. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You went like this, and then you're like, no, it's this thing. Ah. I was thinking that destroying the cameras might have uh, fixed the problem. That because, would be one of my uh, guesses, just set the whole room But I, I didn't want to destroy evidence. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't light all the bones on fire, but it wouldn't have worked anyway because she wasn't possessed. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was possessing the car instead of her. Yeah, I didn't you know, want to destroy the. Well, I didn't I was, want to destroy the crime scene at the time. And I was guessing that the murderer, one of the murderers, was possessing the car, so burning the victims wouldn't have done really done anything. Yeah, yeah, you did have to torch the car. Which worked out well, man. Which I mean, worked out. Worked out. It was it was a pretty epic climactic uh, ending. I liked it. And you you had good strategy on going to to throw that gasoline onto the car, you're lucky, man. You're lucky you rolled at least fifty, because the percentage was. Uh... Oh, <laughs> I see. Jay, I'm reading Jay's comments. Sorry. Uh yeah, you should definitely give her some buck coin. <laughs> I wonder. I wonder um, if I should ban. Uh, those those messages or those people who put that up uh, I got a I got one of those like hey uh, pay, give us five cents for viewers and stuff or, or I don't know if it's a good service I don't know what I don't I don't know enough about is, the streaming world yet is it yeah no I mean, guys that are like oh hey well the one that says like yeah, oh, we'll promote for you and blah 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 you don't like, have you to know, you don't have to ban them be, you just kids. ignore them you know it's it's another viewer that's sitting there putting you up higher in the ranks. Uh, and even if they're like, well, give us Bitcoin and we'll bring you viewers, they probably never will. The, they're just not going to, they're just like, give us Bitcoin. And you, you don't got to ban them. You just, it's probably a bot. So I, like cares? I said, I, I have no idea. Yeah, I just leave it there, man. It's good for the algorithm. Yeah, Jay, the Jay says it's, not, it's not even a viewer, it's a bot. Yeah, so. the more bots that are viewing, the better. Well, maybe I, I <laughs> so now, for now, hey, I'm just going to leave it there. A view is a view. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Yeah. A bot right. is a bot. It's right. like uh, on Reddit, on Twitter, whatever. The more bots that are posting, the more that's uh, happening. But, and the but Jay, yeah. Jay brings up a good point. Is that bots don't engage? So I don't know if they uh, actually uh, touch anything. Um, but uh, anyway, since you you finally realized it was uh, the the episode when it comes up, it'll be called Night Driver. <laughs> <laughs> But um, uh, so I guess we might as well talk about today's topic, which I had it and I was like, "Oh, that's a good one," and now I forgot it off the top of my head. That's fine, okay, okay. man. Just have some more apple juice, Hector. I know it's probably the apple juice that's uh, that's doing it for me. <laughs> 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 it's so good though. I'm not supposed to show labels, but if you guys ever catch William Lawson's, that's great apple to- juice. Straight up tastes like apple juice. It's great uh, little, apple little, juice. Little, little cidery and it super smells like apple juice. Very nice. Very inexpensive. I prefer my grape scotch. juice. 
I, I only drink grape juice. I'm not an apple juice man. I mean, I am, but I just don't got the money for it. Mm. Oh, um, no, I, I just, I, I just had just enough to drink. To fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> language. I know, I know. I'm trying to watch the language. It's just, it's hard to. I'm super surprised really that to get... we've all been doing good at that. Because I curse like a Yeah, son. we've been doing decent. I'm perfectly... on the, I, 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 I get looser on the after show, but, uh, mm. man. I'm perfectly fine with language. I have problems with references. Yeah, I have no. We we've been we've been improving. I hope people who catch this see that we've uh, been improving. We have a we have a banner to take. <laughs> awesome? I have an I have an idea. I have an idea. Anytime no anyone no. catches our GM swearing, award us destiny points. <laughs> and anytime you catch one of the players swearing, we lose a destiny point. Oh, oh, that'd be nice, interesting. huh? Mm. So keep it up, Lucy Goosey over there. We want them points. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We want you feisty. <laughs> Off balance. Give us them points. <laughs> oh, man. Right, so how do you guys feel that the episode is going? Did you guys think you'd make it to the end? I I was, I had my doubts. I was, I was like I said, I liked confident. that one. I was pretty confident with the how the investigation was going I, until I kind of screwed it up. But everything before that was good. I was like, all right, yeah, we yeah, you were, you were, you were there. You know, <laughs> you were making, you were making headway. Stuff was falling into place. And I mean, yeah, it makes I sense. I mean, you, guys, uh, uh, you mess up bad enough, it kind of derails the whole thing. But so, yeah. Well, you know, I tried, that's I tried where. To recover, but eh, what are you gonna do? <laughs> that's where. I was hoping you try to break out of the apartment. Yeah, that would have been fantastic for Hector. No, because if I did, <laughs> I would be forced to take innocent lives. Because yeah, if I'm on a mission, you're not going to stand in my way. <laughs> That's how you justify things. Yep. I was forced to take innocent yep. lives. This an 88-year-old man with a shotgun, get out of my way or you're done. My brother's in I danger. I was forced <laughs> to kill everyone in the entire town, reducing the population from 80 to zero. No, no. I would have been nice. Even the babies <laughs> had to go. I would have been kneecapping, blowing everybody that's, in the leg. That's what you need to put. You should put, um, as the new, as the new uh, stereotype, Homicide Tannerite. <laughs> Tannerite. Tannerite. Because it's highly explosive, and, uh, and it reminds me of Tanner. <laughs> De <laughs> detective. <laughs> Detective. Detective Tanner. Detective yeah. Modeled after Vince Mackey. All I cared it's about like, justice. Not yeah, how I got right. It. Not how Ooh, I got it. Just no, no, no. It was Detective uh Detective Tanner but, modeled after Leatherface. You keep saying Vince Mackey, but Vince Mackey didn't kill everyone he came across, so Yeah, well. <laughs> I said he modeled asked after questions, not, not cut then yet. killed them. <laughs> So, uh, on the topic of something that I actually remember, um, what do you guys think about turning this hangout into uh, another campaign again? Have you guys given it any more thought? I know I ask you every 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 one of these hangouts, uh, but I'm going to keep asking you until we come up with something. As Dude, in... you already know my suggestion. I would like. And to yeah, and I keep and I keep bringing it up, hoping that you'll change your answer. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to be able to run the campaign that I'd like to, and I'd still like two more players anyway. You know what it is? You know what it is? Okay, you you nailed it because that's exactly what I was thinking. It's it's I would be a lot less hesitant to join that uh, that Doomsday campaign if we had more players. Oh, not just the Doomsday one, man. There's also the Chinibio campaign, but that one I would need like a hundred players or more. Why do you need a hundred players? See, that's because insane. the followers thing, man. Uh, if you get devoted followers, and it's every person that you can convince in real life to join the campaign becomes one of your <laughs> devoted <laughs> followers, and you get it because it's a uh, the the way the campaign system works. Uh, when they get experience points, it gives you experience points. So say that they get uh, five points for the total five hours of playing or something, you would get one point for the five hours for every single one of your devoted followers. So if you had 10 devoted followers, you would get 10 points on top of your five points. Oh, man, that's nuts. We don't know enough people to do that. Uh, JB Supreme <laughs> says MLM D&D &D Insidious. <laughs> I'm. I don't know what MLM means. I'm so. Neither do I, man. I'm old. I'm, I'm 46 M years old. I don't. So, 
mid-level marketing. Oh, what's that? Yeah, <laughs> right, right. We're all we're all too dude. Good. Hook us up with some high-level marketing. We don't got money. <laughs> we don't got any money. I spend it all on we're, booze. Somebody we're working on preternatural to the Asian countries, <laughs> so it can blow up. <laughs> But I mean, on that topic, uh, because we do have plans for the future, uh, Ubicopter, have you had, have you done any um, work on that module you're working on? Which one? You wanted to do a Monster Hunter campaign. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> but I do have all the, I do have all the abilities written down, or all the abilities yeah. that would uh, somewhat apply to a, uh, I translated as best as I could. It's kind of a mess, but I have a lot of down well, paper. And I'm still I was hoping, on the I was hoping you waited until the uh, until the the update that I did not too long ago, the the mutations update. Yeah, yeah. Is that it, my... Whenever we run this, you guys will definitely be mutated humans. Yeah, Hunt, but you are not human. You humans. should be. You should be able to do all of the all of the the. Uh, all the mutations for the monsters in there. I was hoping you'd do some of it so you, I could see if you needed anything else for it. So far I have... Four, five. I have about five weapons laid out. And like... Whoosh, a bunch of skills. Well, see, maybe instead of making weapons, you need to make a weapon matrix. Nah, see, the thing is, every every weapon has its own unique ability, basically. So, like, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you could power attack with any weapon because that that's in the system. You know, you're just you're just taking longer to get that big swing, sure. But there's like there's other special ones. Like, if you're using a great great sword, if you're using the great sword, you automatically do more damage because that's just how the weapon works. You get the biggest Luke damage looked, numbers when you're using that Luke, weapon. So Luke looks so like, like he's in a prison. With his, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so like, for example, like down, a, man, my back's my back's killing me, man. Like, I got no, I got no chair in here. I got my, my setup, my apartment complex uh, had us move our televisions out of our living rooms and into our bedrooms, because the bedrooms touch the living room of the next side. They're tiny, tiny apartments, like six hundred some odd square feet. There is no sound insulation, man. That's why I use the earbuds. And today I'm using the speakers on my TV instead of because the whole windows is wow. windows and didn't earbuds. We're so I'm like, it. great. And I got no computer chair. I'm sitting on my bed, which is kind of nice because I could just lay down. But, you know, still sitting on my bed like this, my back is just not good. I've got bulging discs and it just enough about my back. But, yeah, there's a reason I'm laying down. I'm not just a weenie. No, 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 that's good. But sorry, you were saying that some of the difficulties you were having with the module. Oh yeah, like check it out. For example, uh, the great sword power minimum nine. You need a nine power just to wield it. Uh, yeah. Minus five to movement because that's how it works. When your weapon's drawn, you you move really slow because I guess how mm. heavy it is. And the power attack options would go from two to twelve mm -hmm. by minus one in your speed. So you basically go to a zero to get some huge ah, attack. And off the bat, it does. Plus six rounds of damage and stuff like that. Have you guys, uh, what 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 stats have you up recently? Um, I haven't upped any of my stats yet. I'm kind of saving up because I, I wanna, feel like you have enough points. So I want to up my speed for more battle stuff, but I also want to update uh, my non-battle thing. So it's like either up my awareness or up my speed. But I think my awareness might be a little better. I've got three skill points to spend and two attribute points to spend. I could up. Well, I'll go ahead and update little. your sheets. And you mm -hmm. points from last session, right? From last week? Uh, I'm pretty sure I went in there and put them in. Because we should be at the same point cost, right? Yeah. <clears throat> what are you at, Luke? I am total. at total 258, used same. 255. Yeah, I'm at a total 258, used 252. Yeah, that sounds right. I think, I don't know, you guys can do the math if it's wrong, because uh, you've been getting three points per episode. Oh, man, I'm... I'm so uh, I don't remember where we started, dude. Was it 240? Yeah, 240. 
Does that make sense? Somebody's in my total points. Better be Hector. Yeah, that's me. Mike, I know that should be out of it. Uh, maybe. You should. Maybe. I, I, I can't do math right now. My, my brain is spent. Let's get, get, out out my, get out of my, get out of my used points, Hector. That session was brutal. Um, and I knew it was going to be, but I, I, I don't know. My, my teeth was clenched the whole time. <laughs> oh man. And you know, Hector, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to put you right on the spot, but I'm going to put you right on the spot. <laughs> but it, the, um, on Monday or sorry. Yeah. It was Tuesday when we, with, with a draw with me, man. You, you told me that you're going to give both me and Julie a luck point for my birthday last week. Yeah, hey, I, I, you've been mean, killing I really us. don't want to. I really don't want to. <laughs> I mean, you could just, you could just, you could just give one to Luke for his birthday. I, I won't get jealous. I promise. <laughs> you can, you can just, you could just, uh, because we both used the luck point. All you have to do is turn that spent luck point from one to zero. I tried. If you, if, so I decided that when I rammed your car, if I could get it to turn, I'd flip you over and screw you guys up really bad. <laughs> Um, so all I wanted you was to turn beyond 90 degrees either way. So I, I spun a die and it was more or less straight. And I was just like, dang. <laughs> <laughs> but then, but then we could have, we could have used destiny point to ignore that one attack. Yeah, you could have. And we would have luckily rolled out of the car on impact or something. Mm hmm. But I, re I mean, I was really thinking about it, and and uh, uh, <laughs> it just, you know, that's why, that's why, that you know, to keep it fair, that's why we roll. Um, give you an actual chance, uh, even even though there's a script, what you guys do is like completely out of my control, uh, which makes me very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but you corral us well, man. I mean, uh, the whole thing is being based on a, a, a television show, which is basically like a crime show. I saw a couple episodes like 10 years ago, mm. and it's like these guys investigate everything. So I've got my investigation. Let's see. I'll tell you how many ranks I have in investigate right now. Let's see. Where's one of those? There's investigation. I've got six ranks in it, man. So I'm just waiting to up that to seven. And uh, the reason I've stopped at six <coughs> is because uh, when it gives uh, synergies, it's at every three. So being at six, if investigation is giving synergies to other things, it's giving two synergy bonus. So the other things that I'm going to up because you can get out of, if you're going to put seven points into something, you could go ahead and put three ranks for six points into something and give it that rank anyways. And that other skill say for investigation, if I was to put, I, I don't know, maybe uh, I can't think right off the bat, but if something gave synergy to investigation is going to give synergies to other things as well. And if I don't have that skill at all, and I take that skill, throw six points worth in there for a total of three ranks, it's going to up the other one for less than the cost of the total seven and up other skills by the same synergy. Right. I mean, that's just, yeah, that's the whole idea. Um, <laughs> man, I can't, uh, I'm actually like brain drained. Um, you're brain drained. What, what I'm sitting you, here stressing so, hard over jury duty. Yeah, I know. So I am working not I am not working on the stuff that I'm that, uh, that I want to be working on because uh the stream <clears throat> uh takes a takes a lot of my time. Uh but I think that's gonna level out soon and I should be able to get back on track on, on some of the stuff that I wanted to do with uh especially some of the, the modules that I want to put out. Um and hopefully there'll be more news for you guys on that soon. Because that it's, news, it's, it's so easy. If I could just do it, like I, I feel like I could finish a module in the time that it takes me throughout the week on the work that I do on this screen. That news uh, 
when you complete a module, man, that's, well, I mean, once the system itself is released, you know, uh, published, uh, got to put that note on Reddit, you know, and have a place for people to download it. And then when you release modules, you can link that on Reddit as well. Yeah, so uh, even though this this uh, system is campaign announced, one of the things that I want to do is release it with two or three modules um, to, to show you kind of... Well, that's not good. Okay, no, the, so the, my TV the, just the turned is, off, guys. Oh, um, we still say, I don't know we if my computer you. went down or the TV went down. You're, you're still good <clears> to <throat> it's probably the TV. I can't see you or hear you. Um, oh, I can't hear us. That's bad. Um, maybe you can send them a message. Yeah. Uh, that happened. Wow. Sucks. I mean, the thing's broken and dying. It's turning back on. It's reloading. Hmm. And I probably, well, you know, I, I had nothing to lose when I opened it up to <laughs> do what I did in there because it was already completely dead and broken. So you can't hear us it's at all? It's back. It's back. I got you. I got picture. I got sound. It's back. Okay. It's weird. It yeah, looks like crap. When it went away, you were still good for us on our end. We could still hear you. Yeah, it's you. because I've got my computer right. down here in front of my monitor, man. And so, uh, so, yeah, my camera was still going. Maybe now that I've relaxed a bit because the, the scotch is hitting me. Um, uh, apple juice. Wait, so the apple juice? <laughs> Destiny point oh, for both of us? Yep. <laughs> we, can, we can say scotch. Those are people from scotland uh yes you drink <laughs> yeah why not um <laughs> what's wrong with you <laughs> yeah, it's like uh it's like uh the the, the tent something green soiling green so yes green, you, yeah. do you drink the blood of scotsman <laughs> <laughs> see perfectly acceptable we, we um, knew you were the devil <laughs> <laughs> well my little uh, my little icon on the bottom of yeah. my screen so it's like a bright natural screen. Yeah. Um uh, I might as well bring it up because last week we did uh what do you think of playing opposite genders? What, what do you guys think about playing non humans or human adjacent characters? Uh, and we'll start with you, Yuli. Uh I enjoy that. Cause in my imagination yeah. get a little crazy, like I'm gonna be a hedgehog man or something like that. You know, uh, I like I like playing mutants or non-humans, mutant slash alien characters, cause it lets me get a little more uh, inventive in my character. Gives me mm -hmm. a little more creative freedom. It seems that way. I'm always like um, uh, torn between like uh, as soon as I give give my weird alien guy uh something that really makes him stand out and totally non-human i'm wondering if i'm just playing a gimmick um but if it's fun who cares if it's a gimmick if it's yeah i don't know it's just like you know i'm trying to get a wind button out of it <laughs> that's the danger i feel um what is maybe we should do a campaign because i have a feeling that we haven't played something like with really wild, wildly non-human characters. Um, what do you What do you think, uh, Luke? I, I have a suggestion after Luke has spoken. Well, I mean, I kind of do miss playing Raznoral as Mayhew's shoulder cannon. Yeah, but I mean, even Raznoral was anthropomorphic, right? Yeah, um, still... I mean, and there's still no matter what in the system, you get the restriction uh, of how much reality traits you take you know if you're going to take respect of law fear of law and all all that to keep from playing a psychopath you kind of wind up playing a character to the traits that you take yeah but is that is that a uh human with a non-human skin on you know what I, um clear clear something up for me real quick because um for some reason every time i picture razzing around he's purple I was thinking blue. <laughs> I thought it was blue. Really? I he had blue really? Hair. What color was you, Raz? Yuli, Yuli, you, you're colorblind, dude. The only colors you see are blue and not blue. 
You uh, see this guy? False. You can't see colors. <laughs> that is false. Shut up, blue. And I do not appreciate your prejudice towards me. And I feel attacked. <laughs> <laughs> you should. You should feel attacked. Hey, you man, if you're red or green, not blue. if you're red or green, then it, yeah, it all falls on me. But you're not. You're blue. In my mind, you're. you're in my mind, you're this. This is the color. Yes. This is right there. See, so that's the, blue so that's the same because blue. because I thought you were purple, but he can't see red, so he might see purple as blue. So purple to me is blue with pink in it. There you go. What? So what color was Raznaro? Don't be making stuff up on the spot. Just remember. Yeah, what tell color us was. the color he really was. Remember, he was it. blue. He was, was blue. White, I dude. was right. He's just giving me smack talk. White. It's white. Lies. Lies. It's a white cat. Oh man, Find why did I picture right purple? <laughs> Find the well, sheet. Okay. He he was kind of white, off white, dirty, you know, because he wound up laying in the street a lot, so, so he's kind of gray. <laughs> but if he was to have had a bath, he would have been white. Oh, okay. Man, why did I think he was purple? I totally thought he was I, purple. I think it's the name Razz around. Like I was thinking like raspberries or something. <laughs> I would be red, not purple. That whole campaign. Maybe you mix the red of the raspberries with the blue of raspberry candies. That whole campaign, I thought you were a blue cat, man. Oh, there's. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, uh, put Mike down because he's not watching. Mike uh, ended that campaign prematurely because he didn't know what to do with our characters. Well, I also destroyed. What a punk! Just kidding, bro. I also destroyed the heck out of his. <laughs> we his miss one... you, Mike. You should come play with us, you jerk. <laughs> doesn't he have, yeah, a, doesn't he have a family and like kids and a real job? What does he do with us? He's, he's, yeah, he, he is married now, but um, yeah, he was originally the uh, co-creator of the system, but he. Uh, has not worked on it for a super long time and it's changed a lot since then. Uh, but still, credit where credit is due. And it would be nice to have him because. Uh, He's a good role no. player. Yeah. And, well, no, I think he should maybe GM. Um, uh, I like his GM style. Yeah. Yeah. His GM style is fine. I, I I don't think he's that good a role player. Ooh. Oh, um. <laughs> he was, he was, he was, hey, Mike, did you need me to get that knife out of your back, brother? Okay, okay, no. Hector, 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 I hate to say it, but you're right. He wasn't very good at playing a role. However, he was a great strategist, which yeah. made him a fine role player because he, he would be able to put, put great strategy together, execute it well, direct other people to do this, do that, and yeah. conquer massively complex things and really screw things up for me when I was GM. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll, defi I'll definitely give you that because he definitely has a really good sense of what's going on, uh, or at least he comes off that way. Um, Dude, he ruined the whole room of zombies I had that was going to kill. I was like, oh, well, I, hmm, you did just do that. All right, fine. They're in the hole now. <laughs> yeah, and you should expect him to do that. Um, so, but yeah, I also definitely... ruined him in return by lifting his wor sandworm out of the ground because I was yeah. just, I was just flexing. I was like, I lift it in air because I have enough PK to do so. Crush it into a singularity. So I'm saying he's, he's he's a little here. He was a little inflexible. I don't know because we haven't played with him in a long time. He's probably uh, a lot better now, and it would be interesting to see what he's up to and uh, how good he's gotten. But he, but he's played. He's been playing. He's been playing other games. Ugh. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure Ew. he's still a terrible role Remember, player, he, he but roped, an excellent, excellent strategist. Yeah, he roped us. He roped us into playing that that five E campaign, uh, which was absolutely wonderful, except for the fact that it was on five E. And uh, was that the one where you had the invisible imp that nobody knew about? Yeah. Okay. That was a fun campaign. Yeah. I had fun. I damn near. Yeah, I had an I, I had, had fun. I had an imp. I had an imp the whole time. And I was like, hold up guys. I think I can do something about this. <laughs> and I I just secretly summon the imp and have him go do something and then uh tell uh send him away afterwards. And nobody knew I had an imp familiar until the last fight. <laughs> <laughs> the whole We're time. Like, Who's that guy? 
Don't worry about him. He's with me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole campaign. Hector's character is like, let me just... Uh, the whole camp. What was it, like 17, 18 sessions or something? something? Like that. Yeah. <laughs> we all so thought you were a powerful yeah. wizard and you were just a big old <laughs> cheater. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have epic campaign uh, sessions, man. We'd play for like eight hours. Oh, yeah. Well, again, that's what I'm missing. Um, it'd be nice to play something really relaxed. My uh, my my quick you know, idea was a uh, alien bounty hunters, but that might be it might be too simple. Maybe I don't know. So uh, again, we keep going back to the space cowboy thing. Invader uh, Invader Zim. So Luke, what uh, you didn't tell us what you think, uh, I, I, or you could flesh out a little more what you were talking about with the non-human characters. Oh no. Well, it's just you wind up playing mostly uh, with this system uh, to your traits. You know, it's like if you take fear of law, if you take uh, respect of law, you know, uh, all of the the realism traits and you play to those basically. So if you're an alien, you might go to, say, Earth and slaughter the entire planet and be happy about it because you've just procured food for your entire race and you've done a good thing. The humans don't yeah. like it. Yeah, but, you know, I, I think I think we there's just something we haven't explored, and I'm always thinking about things that we haven't done before. You know, uh, I like doing new stuff and uh, uh, widening mm, the the wake that I leave as far as uh, things that I've role played or GM'd or whatever. The there's case a hair is. in my grape juice. Oh, that's sad. It's one of my own. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine. Helicopter. Huh? What's up? Did you have anything to say? <laughs> <laughs> thought... He's paying. He's paying attention. He's paying attention. No, no, I was uh, already already uh, talking about the alien. So you I said already, I oh, thought I already right. answered that question. He's okay. totally paying attention. He's totally he's, he's paying said, attention. You said everything you're gonna say about it. That's fine. I got you. <laughs> I, 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 would like play, <laughs> I would like to play alien character because then uh, I could be like super crazy about it. You know. Like maybe I'm so, a, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm a two foot gnome with like crazy psycho powers and my brain's like this big, you know, or something. crazy psychopath. That has to get updated too. The the psychokinesis schools don't don't work in the new update anymore. They, I mean, I'm I'm sure it wouldn't be that hard, but mm. or maybe I play like a like a plant person, but like way cooler than Groot. Even though Groot's pretty cool, pretty cool the Groot. but I would really he's like a, to play... he's a lot he's a lot cooler in the comics. What I'd really like to play is uh, Jake the dog. <laughs> Jake the uh, dog, good grief! That would be epic. <laughs> that would be epic. So one of the things you can you can do, I expected you to do the the last campaign is 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 just really stack up on on cybernetics because we were doing that that um, cyberpunk campaign. I did. Nah, you guys could have abused it a lot more. I don't know why you didn't. I abused it as much as I could, man. I had cybernetic tools in my arms for performing surgeries. Sure. Sure. You know, uh, I had my microscopic eyes, and I put every rank that I could in drive, man. I built a character oh. specifically for what I was doing, and when I was attacked... In a battle by some woman wielding a shoe, I was just like, <laughs> "Dude, I, I just thought of an awesome cybernetic. Uh, um, uh, what is it like a like a something? Uh, I just had it. Basically, like I would emit a particular noise to cancel out my own noise, so people couldn't hear me sneak up on them. Yeah, that doesn't actually work in real life. You just make more noise." But 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 it's, it's cyberpunk. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. I would, it no, doesn't. No, I would admit something that would mess with your hearing capability, so you wouldn't hear me coming. Yeah, yeah that works, and it doesn't like, work. Like, what you admit would do a frequency, is you would... so you can't pick up on the uh, at, what is that called? Uh, yeah, the, the ominous, Yuli. Um... The, yeah, that Yuli. That that works, and it doesn't. What it would do is it would amplify certain areas of wave. 
to where they would be really loud. So they'd hear you coming like you were right next to them. And in the valleys where it was canceled out, they'd hear nothing. So as you got closer, you would suddenly appear uh, audially to be right next to them. And then you would sound like you're 20 feet away and then right next to us. So it wouldn't mess with them, but you know, kind of like you, a, you wouldn't be just inaudible. Basically like uh, replicating the ambient noise around my environment. So while I'm walking up to you, you don't hear footsteps. You just hear the noises that you normally that's hear. Exact, I'm, that's I'm exactly basically, what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah I'm well, basically just, cutting out the noise I'm creating and replacing it with the exact, environment noise. Yeah, but in order exactly. to do it, you put out more noise is the problem. Yeah, you. what you have to do is you make a, a secondary wave that's out of phase. And at the nodes, it cancel. I'm sorry, at the nodes, it's equal. At the peaks and valleys, it either doubles or it drops completely. I should have just had way more hacked and hacked everybody's eyes all the time so they could never see me coming. That's one of the things. I don't know why you didn't take out that cop. Your implant was a lot better than his. And I was late in that campaign anyways, man. That thing had been going. There was so much intrigue happening. There were betrayals and spies everywhere that I had no idea about. <laughs> and I was just like driving. And I mean, I... Yeah, like, like I said before, there was this like whirling of curtain, right? And then your character shows up and we're all like, me and Abe were like, hey guys, step in here with us. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that worked out great. <laughs> I didn't yeah. get to do any of the story I wanted, but it worked out great. <laughs> it was pretty epic. Towards the end, it was pretty epic. I mm. turned a 20-point enemy into a 20-point slave-driving ally. Yeah. And my, <laughs> and my best friend betrayed me. <laughs> well, my best friend and her stupid robot boyfriend betrayed me. Yes. <laughs> so lucky I died in jail from not doing things. If I lived, I was going to go on a murder That's, uh, There would have been a chapter two, Amy. man. Chapter two, Ninja's <laughs> Revenge. <laughs> it took all y'all down. Well, I had to punish you for, for the for the um, for the addiction trait mm -hmm. um, because you were basically not taking any negatives whatsoever because you had that uh, the, the, the nanobots. <laughs> yeah, you were constantly on uppers and you have the nanobots uh, to repair tissue damage. So, finally, it was like, there's no way you can survive withdrawal. Mm. I gave you some rolls, but... Nah, yeah, uh, I rolled poor, like, on every one. Yeah, you could have you could have survived, but you would have had to spend more points in... Um, gosh, I can't remember what skill we it could, was. We could still do uh, Cyberpunk Moscow. <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Oh, uh, yeah. I I wouldn't mind because uh, you go practice Russian accents, and I wouldn't I wouldn't have to put up uh, name all the characters because they'd all be named Sasha or Ivan or. <laughs> that's con that's culturist. Oh, whatever. You know it's true. Who cares? It's countryist and culturist. They're all named Nikolai. Yeah. I'm going to be the other, other Ivan. That's my character right there. The yeah, other Ivan. <laughs> Wait, oh. you mean you mean Ivan's with a hat? <laughs> no, no, no. I am Ivan no, with I... hat and glasses. Wait, you are not Ivan with shirt? <laughs> no, no, no. no. That Ivan's down the hall. <laughs> Ivan from the cold country? No, 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 no. no. Ivan with hat and glasses. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> that is Ivan with hat. That is Ivan with glasses. I am Ivan with hat and glasses. Yeah. Ivan with blue shirt is my not neighbor. <laughs> it's not accurate portrayal of Russian. Oh. Well, we'd all have to practice. Uh, it'd be pretty fun. Um, yeah, I guess we can make fun of the Russians all we want as long as they're fighting with Ukraine. Right? Well, I mean, the whole world. <laughs> the, whole, the whole... The whole the world kind of doesn't. The whole world kind of doesn't like what the Russian government is doing. I feel sorry for their people and all that, but you know, I'm still gonna make fun of Putin. Yeah, why not? No, <laughs> come on, man. You see the pictures of him like riding a horse shirtless and stuff, and 
Those are the propaganda <laughs> pictures, man. It's like Trump <laughs> is buff <pretty> Jesus. <laughs> it's pretty pretty awesome. <laughs> uh, it's so I, ridiculous. I can make Putin. He's he's like a superhero. He's I like I like po- I, I like uh I like the Pope in the puffy coat. Mm. It was some some good AI man. He looked gangster. Or wait, should I say gangsta? So did we exhaust the the, the topic? Um, well, I want to make topic something exactly? like exactly playing. Aliens the topic or... was like, yeah, I'm like maybe I want to make like a like a centipede with a human intelligence or something. Dude, you know? uh, um, um, have like six. Uh, what is it? Retractable arms, right? So like I'm humanoid, mm-hmm. but then like stuff hits the fan, so all my other arms come out, and then I turn into like a spider guy, and I can climb walls and stuff. A, a spider centipede, a spider centipede that shoots its arms. Maybe seven arms. So I'm a spider and a scorpion. And you regenerate arms? Yeah, like a lesser man. Well, see, that's why I was saying, like, maybe we should do something like that to see if the see the how updated crazy mutation, we can get it? see if the updated mutations chapter can handle it, because I think it can. Sure, sure. I'll play Spider Man. Spider Man. Spider well, Man, Spider, Spider Lizard, Scorpion, thing, man. Oh no, I'll play Spider Man. But I wanted to play Spider Man. I mean, or I could play Man. I'll play, I'll play, I'll, I'll play Man Spider. Ooh, ooh, I'll play. I'll play really uh, Holy Man. I get myself a bunch. I'll, I'll be. I'll be. I'll be. Oh, you man know what's, what's all cooler than that? Hmm. Have you seen those little dragon lizards that uh, are all spiky and thorny, and they? They bite their tail to be all spiky around, like a little. They turn it. Uh, they're super awesome. I wanted to tattoo one for, for a long time. Are you talking about horn, a horned lizard? They're, they're like this big. They're little. They're little guys, mm-hmm. but they roll up like roly polies and they bite their tail, because mm-hmm. they're all spiky on the outside. They're super cool looking. That's pretty cool. Yeah, they they look they look super cool. I was thinking of a um, lizard that looks like it's covered in stickers and it shoots blood out of his eyes. <laughs> Shoots blood. See, does. that's what I'm saying. It does. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, that's no, what... that's that's the horn to the horn toad that squirts blood out of out of its eye. It's a toad. I was thinking of a lizard. Uh, it's it just uh, had, like, it's no, it's, its it's it, no, it's just known as the horny toad. I'm not sure. I think it is a lizard, but I'm not 100 percent sure on that. I am yeah, no I... lizardologist. It was pretty cool. Like a <laughs> like a wolf was like sniffing around it. You know, on the on the Nature Channel, right? So, you know, the wolf's like, I'm going to eat this thing. And the lizard just kind of looked at it sideways and, like, just blood just went and just shot out of its eye into the wolf's yeah. face. And the wolf's like, ah, just ran away. So so it's, an, a, it's, an, ar- it's an armadillo lizard, if you guys want to look it up. The thing you're talking about? Yeah. Well, that and would then, be specific for what Hector's talking about. The one that you're talking about, Yuli, is known as the horny toad. We have them here in El Paso, actually. Oh, that'd be pretty cool. I've seen them on the west side, close to the mountain. No, but yeah, Roly Poly Man. See, look, I'm already thinking about it. I would give myself a ton of jump, so that way every attack is I jump over him, I roll up, and I fall. <laughs> so I just jump and no, see, whip, boink. <laughs> see, we're not going with comic my, with my 20 D and carapace. Yeah, but <laughs> we're not we're not gonna go we're not gonna go comic book hero with this. Uh, you can't be Roly Poly Man. You have to be Man Roly Poly. Like mm. Batman is Batman, oh, oh. Spider Man is Spider Man, but Man Spider is Man Spider, and Man Bat is Man Bat. So you'd be okay. Man Roly Poly. Okay, just be, be like Rolio. I'd be po- I'd be Poly Man. Polio Man. Or Polio. Roly Roly Po. Because my name would be Po. Roly Po. Be Ropo. You'd be Ropo. You'd be. You'd be what was his name? Uh... President presided over is not Theodore. It was Franklin Roosevelt, Polio Man. Mm. You monster! <laughs> See that? One? <laughs> Let's go back to talking about Russia. That was awful. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Polio Man was one of the greatest presidents ever. That's why he's on all the money. I don't think he's on any of the he's money. Not on any money. He's definitely not on the two dollar bill. Or the four dollar bill. Roly poly. Um, man. Yeah. Maybe maybe like tiny little arms in the outside of my shell, so I could propel myself while I'm rolled up. <laughs> Enough about polio manually. Wait, no, wait, you wait. just gotta set it up right Sticky. and stand up. 
stand up hill where we sticky hands stand up hill. so I could climb walls while I'm in ball form. Are you looking at the uh, at the mutations? Chapter probably, or what? No, probably no, is because no, I remember when you did brain. this. I remember when you did the whole sticky chapter, man. We had this discussion yeah. about what was actually sticky and what was slippery, and it's like what's slippery is actually sticky if you got oil on you it slips on itself but it is sticky because it sticks to you <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah this is this is the nightmare that you go through when you're writing rules for this stuff it's well, research um, it's physics and that's actually one of the things that i still love to point out about the heavy metal system is it's like the unreal engine it's a set of rules based in reality itself to give uh, DSs uh, to and costs for powers or whatever it is that you want so that it makes it real. You know, it's not this wacky fly by night. I'm going to roll a 20 sided die system. Well, I, I mean, I was just watching, uh, watch, watching uh, uh, some of those, some gamers on YouTube, um, and they were playing because I enjoy Call of Cthulhu. They were playing Call of Cthulhu, and all the guys that had because uh, it's a percentile system, all the guys that had like 90 power or 90 fight, brawl, whatever the skill is called, they all kept getting their butts kicked. <laughs> and and all the guys who who had, uh, you know, like, um. Uh, like the lowest sanity score was the ones that didn't go insane at the end. Like, uh, well, I mean, one of them did, but there was a lot of flip flopping around and, uh, it was great because the system's built for that. That's, uh, that's, uh, so the system was doing what it was supposed to do. Yeah. It improves your chances, but there it's a game of no guarantees. You're supposed to die and suffer and, and things that are is. supposed to go horribly wrong for you based, based on the, that is that, that is the the lovecraftian world man that makes yeah yeah, yeah yeah so so it's so it's wonderful um the problem that D, &D has is that it does the same thing but it it's not supposed to. <laughs> like nobody <laughs> wants it to like the 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 spirit isn't there your skills go up as you progress but they they remain utterly meaningless the, the entire time Oh, and that's a that's another thing uh, with this system, and it's especially up to the GM. It's uh, when you have characters who are strong role players, and they're also strong in combat and strategy. Uh, depending on what they've been using more, you could say, "Oh, so you've been investigating nonstop, and you want to up your investigation skill? Go for it." You haven't jumped once for the past four sessions, and you want to up your jump skill? No, no, no I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Um, which, which which makes sense, and I mean it's just like you gained a level, and even though you haven't used any of these skills once, they they go up for some reason now. Your you killed order. you killed a thousand velvet rats, ants, <laughs> rats you get plus of two jump. <laughs> it took you long. It, it took you long enough. You didn't jump at all, but yeah, you can up your jump because you got the experience points from killing a lot of low-level creatures. Great, no challenge, yeah, no nothing. You cool. just went off into the to off into the side and started killing boars and cows for it, five hours. That's that doesn't encourage role playing, man. It doesn't encourage. Yeah interaction between the characters this system you get points for playing for, per hour you know so it's like and if you're a strong role player and if you do something really good your gm can award you for playing your character well you know and you get points for being there and being a good player and you can spend them where you've been using your skills it's like yeah it makes sense uh real quick back to the campaign if I'm going to change one of my things to loose cannon, can we set a DS for it so I can roll it? <laughs> no, no. Just nah, man, so, that's like, just anytime I'm cornered, anytime I'm like, oh, man, I don't know what to do, Hector could be like, that's... roll for it. <laughs> and then Yuli, if I, and then if I roll low, I just go over the top with my next action. Yuli, that, Yuli, <laughs> Yuli, that's easy. That's easy. It's already taken care of, man. If you change one of your stereotypes from nerd to loose cannon, all you have to do is when you're in a tight situation, go with your gut. Thanks, Luke. 
<laughs> because I inherently make bad decisions. I you guys, it's you not guys, bad decisions. You guys already, you still, we're seven sessions in and you haven't um, really mastered the use of the Destiny point system yet. And uh, no, that's I don't want to. I've read I don't it wanna, like six times, man, and I'm still looking at it like. I don't want to add yet another mechanic on top of that. It's just uh, we're already uh, as fast as we have to go. There's just um, yeah. There's just it's not it's not it, it'll just slow us down. Like for example, <laughs> this is the, something I'd like to point out real quick, Yuli. You don't make terrible decisions, man. You make terrible decisions when you make fast decisions and this whole campaign is about fast decisions no no mm -hmm. i partly agree with you i do make bad decisions sometimes <laughs> <laughs> tis my nature you make a, you make an equal amount of good decisions i make a fair amount of terrible decisions myself episode one or two busting in yelling fbi and killing the band yeah mm. i would have done that was a bad way. decision i tannered the hell out of that <laughs> mm. Taking my spotlight. That's what you're doing. <laughs> yes. At least I killed a lot of people. You definitely had a Yuli moment. <laughs> oh. oh. No more adjustments, Hector. No more adjustments. We don't need any more complexity to the destiny point system. We don't need no more adjustments. Um, <laughs> hey, GM, leave I those did, players alone. But I, <laughs> but I did actually add an option for the villains. All in all, we are all just I don't know if you guys players see. in this world. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but I did add an option for the for the villains. It better be a good one. I don't want to read it because I don't want to know what they're gonna do against us. Make make <laughs> make inanimate. Make in or make a artificial make demons and ghosts that can't talk talk. I I almost I almost use the destiny point against. So I was like, yes, you use two destiny points on me. That means I have an option of using the destiny point on you. Um, and I and I still had another destiny point, but I could have used it against you because it was a high enough level creature that it started with one. But, uh, but I took it literally. I was like the the character can do nothing but intimidate you i was like it does say nothing uh, oh, but the, meaning you couldn't play your destiny point while that other yeah destiny point was in play yeah yeah and i i had to sit there and rule on the fly and be like but destiny points i can use uh like uh irrespective of whatever else is going on yeah it's like but, and i i didn't realize there was a contradiction there and i we we're already at the end of the stream and um you know i couldn't i couldn't uh just sit there and read rules at the end of the stream and kill kill the excitement that we were going through because everything was going like 100 miles an hour and we were so I just on the road on the, yeah <laughs> you are so i just so i just you know summary judgment just snap it off and uh it ended the way it ended you know yeah, the only reason why I never got out of the car because I was afraid the car would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I was afraid the it car was. would be like, I'm, I'm going to stop fighting back. It reverse, was. Run over Dan. <laughs> it, it it totally wanted to kill you. Um, let, I am going to look up this note right now that we're uh, talking and, and, about and it. I'll, I would like to remind Luke because I always forget <sighs> our fight back to back, man. We have all the talents. Anytime either of us fails a dodge, the other one could dodge for us. Dude. We haven't been using fight it. Fight back to back against a car doesn't really... No, 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 but I'm saying like, Ghost Boy! He wrecked us! But if we remembered we had those uh, talents, it could have it could have went our way a lot more. Than it yeah. Because yeah. I keep forgetting we have that talent. Honestly, I forget we, like we every couldn't, time. We couldn't hit him for squat, man. All he was doing was hitting us with a hammer. Well, yeah, he but... remembered... You did hit him and he disappeared, gave you a ton Yeah, of we eventually breathe. figured out the iron grates on the stove thing and then we could have been like, Alright, fight to back, fight back to back. So we couldn't get snuck up on. Uh so I could get a free attack anytime you attacked him, and vice versa. So we could have been doubling up on the attacks, doubling up on the dodges, and giving him no surprise attack on us. If we remember well, we had those talents. Well just you know, next time that happens when we're when we're fighting something, call it out, man. 
If uh, I remember, I keep forgetting. <laughs> Same thing with the post, werewolves. But post-it notes so, on your monitor, man. Yeah, for real. So what, one, one, of the, one of the things that's uh, writing itself right now is this campaign, uh, which I believe is maybe one of the modules I want to release. Um, and because I because I have uh, like a pretty pretty uh, extensive notes for some of this stuff. Um, I think it makes you know, a good module. You like supernatural? Should, Try this out. It should basically write itself. I've almost um, got a module done myself, man. You find yeah. Chunibyu anime, the thing that you like. Here's the way to play it. Uh, so I just want to look through this real quick and tell you. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I can't find it. There, the uh, man's melted. Something melted. The ice in my fan. Mm. I put I all the here. blocks in there, man. <laughs> it was strong, cold air for about an hour, and now I'm like, mm. well. Anyway, I guess since I okay, here's my note. If the players for the banging. Banging? if the players if the players attempt to leave, they will be smashed by the trans. <laughs> ah. Okay, so I work. made the right call by staying in the freaking car. <laughs> <laughs> no, if you try to leave the if you try to leave the town or whatever, uh, yeah, you were supposed to just get run over or smashed. Oh, I, I knew we were stuck as soon as we got to town. I was like, that guy's yeah. not going to let us alive. <laughs> Any attempt to leave this town is death, so we got to figure it out. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I saw, I saw that too, man, but, you know, my character was a jerk, so I was like, all right, fine. If you guys want to deal with yourself, we'll just get our car and leave. And that wouldn't have happened because we would have been wrecked no, no, over but and over my, again. Yeah, no, but my character had to say, you know, fine, you guys want to be jerks? I'm a bigger jerk. <laughs> yeah, but they also had your brother under... Uh... Oh, not at that point. At that point, we were just still waiting for the truck to be fixed, and nobody was talking to us about this ghost car. It's like, oh, fine. You don't want to give us any more information? These people are stupid. We'll just let them do whatever they want yeah, to do. They're, st they're supposed to be... Uh... You know, speed bumps in your investigation. Yeah, they they don't want they don't want it. They, all right, fine. They can just and you, go. And and you did exactly what you were supposed to do at the end. You figured out a way to overcome those those speed bumps, uh, to overcome those uh, obstacles in your investigation. Yeah, you did it. I, I very, need to get very well. I need to get a horn so I can toot it. <laughs> Use your own. <laughs> oh man i mean i just saw how the town was operating and used the investigation to my advantage you know well, you guys had that hint straight from the start but yeah they're like banging um, in the next room on something i don't know what it is so i apologize for the extra noise if it's picking up. i can't even hear it don't worry banging for um, what they're doing something in the next room with a hammer or something i don't know Mm. I don't care. <laughs> I don't hear any hammers, but I can barely hear you guys. Anyways, I don't got my I don't got my earbuds on. I've got the television speakers, and I'm a, they're I, crap. I swear, I swear, I had a really good topic on mine, and I can't remember. Ah, oh, you still I was like, oh, that's did perfect. It, yeah, did it have to do with Night Rider? Do 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 do. Spent a whole week thinking about this. Denim, 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 yeah, Jay, Jay, uh, Jay knows what he's talking about, but but yeah, I, I had to come up with a whole way to create Knight Rider as a ghost for you guys to fight. <laughs> it's interesting. Um, you guys happy with the truck or the truck is dead? We have a Camaro now. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> now we need a trailer. We now we need a trailer to hitch thing. to the truck. We straight that traded that thing because he said <laughs> never come back. So no. we took the Camaro. No, if we failed to never come back. You said if you fail, never come back. So now oh, okay, we have a truck okay, okay. and a Camaro. <laughs> So mm-hmm. now we need a trailer to hitch to the truck. So everywhere we go, we have a backup vehicle. <laughs> mm. Or, you Let's know, maybe we'll here. just give it to Elvis. You know, whatever. And convince him to come on the road with us. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Elvis, leave Vegas. We'll no. give you a Camaro. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure he can have as many Camaros as he yes, likes. Yes, he can. They're all pink. <laughs> That was his thing, right? No, his mama, his mama wanted a pink Cadillac, so he got her five of them. I don't know something, something like that. Uh, Luke, are you drinking today, just by chance? Uh, I'm sorry, you, what? You had the, uh, you had your grape juice. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm not drinking alcohol. I, why would I ever do such a thing? That stuff's horrible for everything and I'm not about everything i only drink what was that night rider noises oh it is huh oh no stop it, hey cut that out cut that out cut that out stop cut, stop cut, stop cut. stop jerk <laughs> you can't it's play not, copyrighted music on it's not copyrighted street. anymore Ooh. maybe i don't know don't do it anyway you get me a strike. The wheels yeah, are not go round, round and round. Round and round. Yeah, I don't know. Round and G- round. It's been, 20, it's been, 20, it's been years, 20 It's been 20 years. No, it doesn't matter because they've restarted uh, different franchises off of it. So. Oh. The wheels you know, that copyright law is getting right out of hand with that crap, man. Yeah, well, it's awful. But I, I mean, I, I, I seriously doubt I'll get a strike for that, but don't. Don't play any music. Yeah, it was only a couple of seconds. You can play a specific safe, length. Huh? We're just trying to be safe, that's all. Yeah, you can yeah. play a specific length. Still, though, I love that song. That's cool. That's good. All right, now, like I said, I'm it's not drinking memories. any alcohol. I never drink alcohol. Alcohol is the devil this juice is a sober that you thing. should never juice in your devil. Yes, the no, devil should never be devil. juiced. Your evil Drink, comes from keep the drinking devil. the blood of the oh, blood of Scotland. I, I need to, I need to, I need to get so, I need to get some more grape juice. And, and Hector, you need to stop murdering Scotsmen to drink on. I only I only murder. I can't help it. <laughs> Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen. There are imaginary Scotsmen that are being brutally murdered by our GM. So no. it's not real. <laughs> what was the last? They had a Knight Rider. It was a long time ago, too. I remember they had like a remake-ish thing, but they called it Viper. You remember that one? It was Knight Rider. Viper. Yeah, yeah. It was like a. It was either a black Viper that turned white or a white Viper that turned black. It was basically the same thing. The guy was like mm. stopping crimes with a Viper that. Oh, so so the thing that I was talking about earlier. Originally considered, yeah, they did have a bunch of remakes. Originally considered for the car that they were going to pick was a Datsun. No way. Yeah. The, yeah. So when Datsun you said Datsun, I said, Rider? yeah, I said that's that's perfect because originally they were thinking of putting a Datsun. A Datsun was going to be Knight Rider. Uh, uh, incidentally, <laughs> incidentally so was, the, the Datsun uh, B210 was the car that uh, Time Zone souped up and never once used. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, some of these dots. Yeah, but they. Cool. Yeah, so they wanted to put a Dotson in as their Night Rider, and and they changed it to. Uh, it's a good thing to they the did, Am. man. The Trans Am is iconic and just amazing. It kind of well, looks like a civilian version of like the, the old school uh, uh, Stingrays, almost sort of, kind of. Well, that's what they thought, but whoever whoever was in charge of it decided last minute that like, no, nah, no way, we can't have a Datsun. As look well. up, Yuli, look up the Datsun B as in boy, two ten. Datsun. But it. B. So I thought it was pretty hilarious when you came out with that. 
Hatchback oh, it's Cooper. a Dotson. I was like, yeah, it's a Dotson. That's Hatch, awesome. Hatchback Cooper Sedan. Uh, Sedan. Sounds or like coop this. sedan or coop either one they're they were they were all terrible the b210 the, uh, the tiniest funniest they, looking the yeah, 82 trans Am is is also a hatchback it was it's actually a fastback oh whatever what's the difference come on what's the difference <laughs> hatchback. tell me the difference if you're gonna get pedantic with it the hatchback is like suv style uh, the fastback is like the long, sloped trunk, man, and it's usually got the slitted windows. That's so exactly the, like so a super fastback. Fastback is an extended hatchback, basically. Yeah, it's a long, slanted trunk, man, that includes part of the window. Uh, hatchback would be more for a compact car, and it's kind of SUV ish. The fastback also has. Like that. That'd be a fastback if it had the slanted uh, window shields on the back. Mm, okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not buying that there's a difference. Yeah, there isn't. But, you know, mm. there's things that get names for stuff. The Mustang is the first one to come out with the fastback. It's like you're telling me that I don't play with dolls. They're action figures. Uh, okay. kinda... <laughs> I don't play with dolls. They're action figures. <laughs> there's your, there's your fastback. What what Barbie yeah. has what Barbie what Barbie has a kung fu grip? There's your oh, fastback. Man. It's got the little yeah. That's a fastback. Oh uh, yeah. So it's a hatchback with uh stuff on the back to make it faster. That's why it's a fastback. yeah. Pretty much, pretty much. It's a hatchback with aerodynamics. I got it. It's it, 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 <laughs> it's saying a G, it's saying a GI Joe isn't a doll. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's an action figure. See, there exactly. You, <laughs> <laughs> you, th you think you think you saw Barbie in those trenches with those men? <laughs> you think Barbie has a kung fu grip? At least, at least to be fair, uh, some of those things did like a little when you push the button or something. The kung fu action? <laughs> yeah, I didn't see no dolls do that. Mm -hmm. Those were those mm -hmm. were Thundercats, man. Thundercats. You had the little uh, things that you could either like Orco. You'd pull the thing and you just go spinning around, man. And man at arms, you could uh, flip the switch and his neck would pop out. Yeah, man. Oh, so just, oh. just for action figures. Man with many faces, you squeeze his legs and his, his face would be like, choo, 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 choo. And it would uh, yeah. What is he called? It was He was it, man of many faces, wasn't he? Is that his actual name? Was that his name? It's, it's very, he was, he it's was very man of many faces. You're thinking man at arms? Uh, yeah, man you're, you're combining man the two. At, yeah, Man at Arms was uh, for was the yellow and gray guy. Cats. Manny faces. No, 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 was no, no. GI was, Joe. No, no, no. I'm thinking of He Man. No, no, no. He Man. Man at Arms -Man. was an He Man. He had like a green helmet and like a yellow armor. And his, his faces were changed. Way too future. No, no. You're you're combining two characters. Mm. You're combining like many faces and Man at Arms. Yeah, Manny faces would change his face. He had the green he armor. Was uh, man, at, man at arms is the one that had the uh, the neck that would pop up. Uh, that sounds, yeah, that sounds right. I used to have all that stuff. So that little man. drag dragon, and you like pull the trigger and his wings would flap. Uh, Dude, I I, I, I was, never had space technology back in the day. Skeleton, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I never I never had Castle Grayskull or Snake Mountain, man. My buddy yeah, who lived Grayskull. down the street had Snake Mountain with the microphone. And it made you sound like Skeletor with the echoiness. It was just so terrible, dude. I I, I remember. Uh, it, it's gonna not sound right in the beginning, but stay with me. I remember when they started uh, angling Polly Pocket towards boys, and they started coming out with those, all those cool little miniatures. Like, oh, check it out! This little case is like the whole Bat Cave, and there's a little Batman in there, and like, I thought those were pretty cool. I'm ten years older than you, dude. Yeah. So you were an adult when they came out, and I was still a child. That's all that. That's all that yes. I have no <laughs> memory of this. Man, see, you used to be only five years older than me, and Yuli was nine years younger than me, and now yeah. Yuli's one year younger than me. Yes. And you're what nine it, years it, older than me? It, you it guys doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm, we'll never figure I'm it 40, out. I'm forty-six <laughs> years old, man. I'm thirty-nine. Oh, okay. I'm forty. One, <laughs> I forget. Uh, when I first, when I, first I forget. when I first started hanging out with you guys, I was 25 years old. 
and I went to the one of the first Taurus parties where Hector, you had your hair up in horns, and it was in Carlos's backyard. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I remember Hector G was the old guy of the group. He was 24 years old, and he was the bassist mm -hmm. for Angel Burn. And we were discussing. I, I don't even remember how it came up. Somebody asked me, "How old are you?" And I was like, "I was 20. I'm like 25." And Hector G's like, "Oh, good. I'm not the old guy anymore." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but he right, is, well, have, you, have you seen him lately? He's all like a uh, old guy, grandpa, grandpa yeah. sweater, and clean. Cut He's got a huge beard that's all full of gray. <laughs> I haven't talked to him or seen him, man. But he, he's a total he grandpa. <laughs> he posts every now and then. I've no, seen a few of his videos where he's just playing some bass, man, and he's just all old and gray. That's what happens when you have no. kids. I mean, look at me. I'm 46 years old. I've drank enough grape juice to <laughs> grape juice myself. Pick, pickle myself. Vinegar to pickle, but vinegar to pickle myself. Turn into that blueberry kid from uh, yeah, Willy Wonka. From Willy Wonka. Yeah. I, still, I still got my hair, man. I still got the color of my hair. I don't dye squat. You can see the gray in my beard, man. Well, I'm going a little bit. Yes, I know. That's that's that's, that's that that, that, that line is receding. <laughs> That line is gone. Mm -hmm. Dude, I started losing your my defensive, hair. Your defensive lines like have been destroyed. I was like 19 years old when in the shower I was like, what is this? <laughs> so I started and I still remember, super early, man. I still remember when you used to have the fro, Yuli. Hell yeah, I'm and you put hair. on, Hell yeah. You put on the, the king of beers. Uh, the oh, Hector like G. <laughs> yeah, Hector G had made from the, the Budweiser box. He cut out a crown, stapled it together because he's like, I got no costume for Halloween. I'm the king of beers. And then <laughs> like a few days later, Yuli finds it in James's garage, just puts it on. I was like, dude, wait, hold on. Uh, put your hair out the top of it. It was just like, <laughs> it looked like a mushroom. It was great. Man, it was the best. That was a pretty impressive throw. Dude, it was, yeah, it was a foot. It was over a foot. I, yeah, I remember he just had a big old pick in it. Yeah. And my hair, I don't know my if hair I still was have always the thin, so when I would shake my head, like the whole thing would just be like you, 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 you. <laughs> Somebody was telling I mean, me we were, at a, we were at a show one time. Somebody told me like I always knew where you were because I just saw this big old thing waving back and forth in the crowd. <laughs> yeah, I miss it. Uh, memories. I mean, I'm gonna. I don't know. Just keep getting balder slowly. Just, just I think it. maybe when I, I, it's like Samson. When I run out of hair, I'll just die. I just I <laughs> balders. <laughs> you can't shave your head because it'll kill you. <laughs> uh, just uh, call it Baldur's Gate, man. Uh, Dude, that's um. What if you go monk, Hector? Shave the I top, pull old... the back. Oh, just have an awesome ponytail going. That's shave the paint. I don't have it anymore, man. We'll see. I only we'll have see. the original picture. I'll, when I put your beard on your head. Time. Oh, I have it somewhere, but I can't find it. Yeah, I don't have the one. I don't have it anymore, man. That was great. I remember when I took that picture. We were role playing. We we're here. We we're at the uh, the gamers' dungeon, man. What was it? Uh, game vault. Game vault. And uh, we're sitting there. I was like, Yuli, hold still. Let me take a picture of you. And he looked at me like, What are you doing? A couple of days later, I was like, Okay, I don't think I'm ever going to finish this bit because I wanted to get rid of the beard completely. But it was too difficult to get rid of the beard, so I just, you had a beard and full head of hair, man. <laughs> I put the fro back on. No, no, even dude, even I, even it took it took even me a minute. Cause I was like, how in the world did you do that? And then you're like, oh, you put your beard on your head. And I looked holding the picture, and I was like, it is my beard on my head. <laughs> that was a good job for on the spot. It was a pretty good job, Luke. It's yeah, like I feel like the Play-Doh factory. Quick. Like you squish the hair out this way, and it comes out. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. Gravity dictates how my hair grows now. Only down, mm -hmm. not out. <laughs> As I get older, I haven't yet lost any hair, but you know everything's starting to sag, and certain parts of my body are winning the race. I feel beautiful. Well, <laughs> I'm all good. I'm not. I'm not worried about it. Uh, I'm just gonna let it do what it does. I, I feel great no matter what. <laughs> You're gonna go anyway, Devin Town. So. You're gonna go straight Devin Townsend with it. Yeah, actually, if I uh, if I end up like Devin, so one one of the things when I was 15, I kind of fell in love with uh, Jonah Jonah Hex. I don't know if you guys have ever read that, um, but he 
uh, his like arch nemesis, uh, which was like his best friend, love interest, all this stuff happened. Uh, he got a hot axe and pressed it up to his face. So Jonah Hex has like one bulging eye and uh, like sh- scraps of skin all messed up. And like his mouth is like permanently open and on one side, like bearing teeth. And he's bald on top and he's got this long white hair coming down on the sides. And I was like, this is what I want to look like when I'm older. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh... <laughs> I'm slowly, I'm slowly getting there. It's just like, you know, he's got a lot of character in his face, you know? Just, like, just, you can tell this guy's been don't, around. Don't mutilate your face for a story, Hector. I'm not gonna, but I, you know, if it Let happens... Let it happen naturally. Let it happen naturally. <laughs> it happens... Do an axe fight and just see where it goes. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna complain about it. I'll still feel beautiful, you know? Um, so, yeah, yeah, I'll try to, I'll try to avoid it. Honest effort. I'm not gonna like, you know, like, oh no, look at me. I might accidentally fall into this. Oh no, 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 that. You'll come out looking I like two faced. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna do any of that. But especially the bald top and the and the the long gray hair. I was just like, when am I gonna go gray? <laughs> if you can't wait, to try to die it. <laughs> I just, I, I feel like I would look. I, you know, like I'd get like a plus three intimidate. Um, it'd be awesome. <laughs> you need to find that picture so you can send it to me again, Luke. You're trying to find that one picture that I put your fro on your head? Yeah. It's probably in your text messages, man. No. Because I had texted it to you. I just checked, but your, your text is. Oh, there it goes. It just needs to load. It'll go way back, though, man. No. I don't even know if my phone still has it. I don't have anything before May 15th. I don't know why. Mm, you I must didn't... have cleared up your... But I don't. I, don't. I only delete the texts of the people I don't talk to anymore. Oh, yeah. I got a new phone service, so mine only oh, goes back to February. Mm, possibly. Possibly. Man, uh, oh wait, I hit the archive. It's going all the way back. We should maybe hit, uh, try out that. I'm also that in the thing. wrong. Oh, I'm back. You guys looking for that picture? Uh, we need to find a way to like share this stuff on stream. Like when you put up these pictures. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We could totally screen share, man. It's just you know. No, don't we... screen share. That'll mess up the. Yeah, uh, but we're not we're not using a a, a eraser guard right now. How do you, yeah, uh, I know, and I still haven't gotten one. In your <laughs> you, you should have reminded me. Unarchive. I just reminded you. Mm. <laughs> how do you look in the archive? Uh, uh, the there's the three little dots at the upper right hand corner of the text message thread you're in. You tap that and go into archive. No, I went to go look into the archive of our conversations, and it archived the entire thread. So now I can't see any of your text messages. Oh, okay. <laughs> so in the welcome to the stream, guys. <laughs> Watch welcome. a bunch of old guys <laughs> figure out how to use their phones. Uh, it's really going really awesome. I figured out how We're to use my phone. Distracted. That's all. <laughs> yeah, we are. No, for reals, Mike. My brain literally feels hot. Like I, I was stressed over that episode. Like oh, it's like, are we gonna get to the end? What are we gonna do? Am I gonna have to call it early? Yeah, that just happened. Yeah, no, it's all right now. I did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Yeah. It's not Woo. like it's not we like I could take it back. It, it, it's we're live, man. It happened. I mean, I, I forgot what was going on. That's all good. We're all brain drained. We're all a little bit stressed, man. I'm looking at jury duty uh, on Wednesday. Hector's working on the system and all sorts of stuff. It looks uh, like we got uh, some good weather coming in, Yuli. Yeah, it wasn't. Is the temperature terrible. finally coming down? Barely. No, 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 not at all. It's just that right now the wind is going at about eighty miles an hour. The trees are kind of sideways, and it's so dusty I can't see past the houses. <laughs> so as long as we it's also fire, causing the it's also causing the bearing on my air conditioner to sing. Wow, that's wonderful. Singing air conditioners coming to you soon. That's uh, that that's like every other week over here though. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, like only the, without the dust, eh? I think the past few days it's been under 100. Meaning like That's because we have um, It's because we have grass over here. Yeah, we don't. <laughs> we, 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 got, we got we got we got grass in parks and even most of that is crab grass well, yeah. you know currently 87 what? degrees mm. and it what? might rain tonight it might rain yeah tonight. i can i can attest to that it's raining right now 40 percent chance that's weird apparently it's normally very dry over here but this year we've gotten more Fair amount of rain. I don't How know. do you have grass? Doesn't that mean you? Can Welcome to the stream, grass? guys. We're a bunch of old guys talking Welcome about the, the weather. <laughs> uh, uh. Well, I thought of an invitation, right? So I'm roly poly man with sticky hands mm -hmm. on the outside, so I could climb walls. And and my six pack is not muscles; they're little tubes that could shoot acid. Oh, have you seen the mutations chapter? No, I have not. What am I? Is that the weather? Pack? Because all, because all of that is in there. I'm definitely gonna look it up. That is what is headed towards us right now, man. Cool. Tom, tell me how many points it would take if you want to think about that. Oh man. I must feel like you. I must feel like you should run it. You ever think about running um, a follow up on your uh, like animal man campaign? Oh man, the one that you guys uh, made it through. Yeah, but you oh, guys yeah. are like, oh. uber powerful. <laughs> uh, I'd have to be throwing like deities at you and stuff. Was I part? Oh, I wasn't part of that campaign. Yes, was you I? were, Walt. Yes, you yes. were, Walt. You were the sniper. Walt. You were animals in that. You were Wally. You Walter. Yeah, I was uh, a Tasmanian devil man. I didn't remember that we were animals, man. I just remember being. You Walter. were not. Yeah, you yeah, were not. I'm you were human. Being, yeah, you were. You're basically like a wizard with a sniper with a sniper rifle. I remember being Walter Cronkite. Yeah, you were. Or, and and you were uh, Oliver North. Yeah. Or yeah, Wally and Ollie, but I think I called you Walt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I, I mean, we could. But well, I mean, we don't have to play those characters. They can be in the past. You're just saying, like that same world. Yeah. Yeah, we could. Or, yeah, we don't know because I mean, Oliver North was a one-man army; it was a beast. <laughs> yep, you're the Tasmanian Devil of Destruction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you tried so hard to convince me to give you the tornado power. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, come on, man! We don't always spin do around and get like 15 attacks. I'm like, no, get out of here! <laughs> 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 I mean, I can let's 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 stay on that topic because it's fun. Um, tell tell me one time that you've had because we've all GM, and I think we all come across this. And if you haven't done this before, you're doing it wrong. So tell me a time that you've had to tell uh, a player, give him a hard no. I think I think Yuli volunteered his already. Uh, cause I really wanted to spin like a Tasmanian devil, like Taz from the cartoons. And get all these, <laughs> get all these extra attacks. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, I really, I wanted to make Tasmanian devil and I wanted him to spin like the, like Taz. I love Taz. So, uh, you, I think you gave me a hard no. I could yeah. convince you for, for crap. Um, how about you, Luke? I don't remember giving anybody a hard no because you guys are usually pretty reasonable in your requests. And I set out the guidelines. I guess there's hard no's like uh it's like you'll hard no somebody's name. It's like can I can I play oh, we already uh, talked about like, that, can I play Bill Clinton? And you're like, no. But it was that same thing. I but but Yuli over here said yes, you weren't supposed to be Walter Cronkite, you were ruining my immersion in the entire bloody thing. I had lost faith in everyone uh, and everything. Uh, and you're over here like, like, no, man, I'm going to name Walter Cronkite. You can't name him that, dude. Come on. You can't name him that. <laughs> I'm over here crying to teachers like, uh, Yuli, man, he's naming his character Walter Cronkite. Tell him he can't do it. I don't okay. care. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, fine, I'll be all over North. And it was one of the best campaigns ever. And it was one of the best. Yeah, it was great, ever. but it, it wouldn't it wouldn't have been if you were Oliver North and I was uh, Dextro 
mellow trend, like some, you know, like some hyped Super up fancy, fantasy maybe. name. Yeah. It wouldn't uh, have fit. It wouldn't have fit, right? It would have really I mean, messed it up. It would have been too juxtaposed. Yeah. I, so I it's figure, like I figure I've given. Lots I bent on that one. I bent on that one. I, I figure I've given lots of hard no's, man. I just don't remember them. It's like somebody right. will say, "Can I have a rocket launcher?" No. That's just not in the campaign. You know, if you come across one in the dungeon crawl, sure. But I, no, <laughs> not just outright. I remember I've given, one I've, from the same campaign. Uh, yeah. Uh, you tried to uh, double down on your power equipment when I sent you to the Ah, the, I sent you ah to the, come on. That was I the perfect you to time. The Megaverse to, to fight your shadow copies. And you're like, well, he has yeah. the same as I do, right? So if I just put his over mine, it's like double the effect, right? I'm like, no, get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> why not? Why not? That's made perfect sense. You should have all the same gear I have. Give no, me double the gear. What I should have done, what I should have done is be like, yeah, dude, they totally work. And then you come back to your world and they just disappear. Cause they only, uh, you should have, but you, you let me keep, <laughs> but I had mundane equipment. My shotgun and my, uh, chainsaw knives were mundane. So yeah, I did no, get those. The workaround would have been, it doesn't exist in your, in your reality. So you would have been double powerful in that. And the negaverse, you would have been double powerful. But once you came back to this world, it just would have. No, 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 no. You see so many no's. Yeah. I remember, uh, one of Mike's what a bad, what a bad GM. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> How many no's? I remember... You could write a book on all the no's I got from you, Hector, so I don't want to hear that. <laughs> I remember, yeah. I remember one was... of Mike's campaigns, man. Mike, uh, he was, he, 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 he was getting ready to, uh, put together a campaign. I can't remember if we played it or not. I think that might've been the one where I wound up playing Raznoral. But originally he said there are multiple races and you can play mixed race characters. And I was like, okay, so there's demons and dragons. I'm going to play a half demon, half dragon. He was like, no, you'll be way too powerful. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so one, <laughs> and, and, and you should, you should have like jokingly, obviously uh, the hard nose is what made it good. Um. Hey, he but said I'm, I can do any two races. I'm, I'm, re I'm remembering one. I'm remembering one that I gave Yuli. And I. it was a hard one because at first I said yes. And, uh, and, and then when I realized what was going on, I felt attacked tonight. I was like, had to come at it <laughs> and say, absolutely freaking not. You, you're trying to do that in my campaign? I was like, um, so... <laughs> So he's like, uh, hey, man, what do you guys think about playing aliens? Like, flat out from another planet. You'd be the only ones on the whole planet who are aliens. And 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 you and Terry made the characters. Mm -hmm. And he said, all right, cool. And they got into it. And I was like, oh, man, it's cool. They got all this uh, biotechnology, um, like uh, your tools and the ship is all alive. And, uh, and this is before I'd seen Far Farscape, so... I'm totally original, oh, right? Anyway, I love our love for our escape. But uh, we start coming up, and uh, Terry's telling me about his like eyes and uh, uh, the mutations he's gonna have, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, all right, cool, awesome. And then uh, Yuli starts telling me about him, so I'm like, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. So it's like, oh, uh, I want to be like a a purple skin guy, and I was like, cool. And it's like, um, so like, so like, what was your duty? Like build your character around the duty you had on the ship because you guys are spacefarers, and 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 Terry was the engineer. And he's like, oh, so he had a bunch of like building stuff, and then and then it's like, and Yuli says, uh, the I was the cook. <laughs> <laughs> this was an unintentional. I go, goal, by the way, I still yeah. stick by this. It was not intentional. And I was like, cool, cool. So like, yeah, I'm gonna put all these uh these, these skills in cooking and stuff. And he goes, oh, and then it would be awesome if I had like four arms so I could like chop vegetables super fast and do all this stuff and I was like yeah yeah that's Elzar. Awesome. yeah Elzar. and I was just like screw you Elzar man you're trying to make Elzar in my campaign get Hector, the hell out of here I was convinced I was trying to make Elzar when I wasn't it just happened it just came out there yeah four arm space chef I was like no yeah, way get out of here check it out. I, was Bam. Gonna, I was gonna buy the retractables so in combat I could be going toe-to-toe -to -toe with somebody and be like, oh, he's kind of winning. Let me pull out my other arms and give me the advantage on the wrestles and the stabbings and whatnot. Yeah, you couldn't, like, no, that was like a, a horror story be, I stopped. It wasn't meant to be, uh, <laughs> uh, oh, uh, hey man, Futurama. I accident, 
I I accidentally in uh, Terry's campaign I, I accidentally made uh, Pen Hodav. I even rolled for the mm -hmm. syllables in his name, and I was Dominus. The other I don't know if I can say that online. Yeah. Uh, it's and, a and I was basically hedonism a bot. And you were hedonism I was hedonism bot. bot. But at least you had legs. I mean. Yeah, no, I didn't if have you, four legs on the chair. If you had said like I, you know, I have people carry me around on a palanquin or something, then I mean, I pretty know. much did. Yeah, and I'd get off of that chair because people <laughs> did carry me around, and I'd get off that chair and give speeches as a god, and people would just listen to me because I made the ultimate politician. That's another thing that I just uh, it just made me think. I want to point out about the system. I was able to build a politician. I was able mm -hmm. to use speech, attractiveness. I was able to use uh, persuasion, all the empathy, all the things needed to be the perfect politician. And I could build that. I couldn't fight for squat, but I was the perfect politician. Dude, another good example of that. Uh, when you played when you played a Don in my mafia campaign, you didn't mm -hmm. have to fight because mm -hmm. you had minions that did all the fighting for you. Um, it was another politician role. You know, uh, I took a lot of intimidate in that one because it was like, you're not going to do what I have to say. You're going to do what I say. <laughs> I love that campaign because yeah. all the Hector's enemies. You had so many enemies. I was like, oh, man, anytime I want, anytime I want. Oh, you're buying a sandwich. This guy tries to shoot you. <laughs> it was only it was only 10 20 point enemies because I needed to only points. 10. One of, one of my favorites, one of my point favorites was uh, enemies. One of my favorites yeah. was Hector's like, I'm uh, going to I'm going to go to the post office, to check my mail. All right. So you yeah. went to the post office and this guy with a flamethrower just steps off. Freaking Tyro. Shows up. <laughs> Hey, but I aced that dude. I shot his. I shot his flamethrower. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. You had good strategy, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The my favorite one that I killed was the guy in the in the in, in the freaking fighter plane <laughs> that attacks me on the road. Oh, while that's driving. right. You were like walking through an alley or something, and I was like, yeah. Oh, I was driving through the road, and the guys kept started strafing me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait, how'd you take that guy out? I oh. Remember. I, I staked out the airport because I was like, he's got a plane. He's got to land somewhere. So I staked out the airport. I found out where he was at. I snuck in and I put a grenade on his uh, on his stick so that when he pulled up to to, to take off, the, the the grenade would go off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So he's all, clink. What was that? <laughs> <laughs> Automatic win. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, it took me like two weeks taking that guy out. And you lived, you lived uh, in a hole somewhere inside a tank, right? Your tank was your house, right? <clears throat> so, I had a house, but, but I but that was a decoy. I, but the house was a decoy, <laughs> and it was set up with traps just to let me know if anybody tried to find me in the house. Mm -hmm. Where have instead, I seen that before? Instead, instead, I don't know. I made it up. I'm you totally opened original. the goes red. So <laughs> retired and dangerous. Now the house is a decoy. He pulls open the trunk of the car and it's like down in there. Oh yeah. yeah no, yeah. so so I I dug a pit in in the yard and uh I I where I where I hid my tank and I just lived next to my tank in case I ever had to get out of there real quick. That's retired extremely dangerous. It's like, oh well the house is no the house is a decoy. Pulls a string, the car's trunk opens, it's like there's a bomb shelter. So, yeah, no, I, I'd never seen that. I had a fire bat, uh, which is a tank which is equipped with a flamethrower. You never got to use it, huh? Never came to no, I never got to use it. Look, but I, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know exactly, <laughs> exactly. But it, but if if they ever pissed me off, I would be in that city just sitting in a flare. And we do. The Great Fire of Chicago fire. Part Two would have been me right here. Yeah, weren't you? Uh, what we, is it your you, assassin name? Don't like mess Pompeii? with me, Pompeii. Yeah, Pompeii. Don't mess with me. We do need more players, man. It's like I love to do PvP campaigns, man. When we had the campaign that we shall never speak of its name, where you and Yuli were paired by the roll of the dice and had the most excellent role playing ever, as you were hunted because you were villains. And went around oh. doing as you please, and it was fantastic. 
and we had two other players who shall not be named. Well, we don't speak of it, but uh, we yeah, would have you know, killed the ever living. We don't speak of details. Oh, no, we would have killed the ever living crap out of them. They had zero chance. Oh, man. It was they just really not. Did. It would have been like, what yeah, are the really actions? Uh, we win. <laughs> Fight <Yeah>. over. <laughs> but I love to do PvP campaigns, man. It really tests the system itself. I and hope. I hope. So, it's so possible. I mean, this this, uh, this stream is an end to the mean, right? I want to do uh, the the work work on the system and all that. But I hope uh, that it takes off uh, well enough. I mean, don't take that to mean that I ain't putting a lot of heart into this. But I hope that this takes off well enough. We can do a Patreon, uh, like uh, stream only, and uh, and really just cut loose and do all the stuff that we really want to do. Yeah, um, that'd be nice, man. But I don't even think we need a Patreon for that. I figure once the system releases, it'll take some time to gain traction because it is a homebrew. Then it's going to get published because it's it's good, and then. My logo sure, will sure. be there. Uh, I want to see it you know, blazed in, in in all its glory. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I wanted to change some things about it, but I was like, nah, it all just um, kind of makes sense. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and really actually, cool. as a point, uh, just random, uh, for anybody who's designing something that you want to make it look metal, take some waves, like a picture of waves from water, remove the color, Blur it a little bit and use that as your metal reflectiveness. That's so what I did. That's what I did. One of the things I was uh, thinking about doing is start taking um, uh, what are they called? Uh, when people ask you to do stuff, uh, requests, and, and then they pay you for it, and it's artwork. What? Can't think commissions. Of it. There it is. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking to start taking commissions. Maybe get on Fiverr or something and. Uh, uh, as soon yeah. as I, as soon as my invention is patented and marketed, I will commission you to draw one million duties. Actually, I have a picture I've been wanting you to do for, <laughs> for a long time. So you just need to name your price, and we'll make it happen. Well, I thought of an awesome idea for a shirt, but I can't. That sounds say, awesome. I can't say what it is on the stream. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I want to get some shirts. Me too. We should start thinking about merch. Um, I don't, dude. They're gonna be like band T-shirts with maybe, the logo. Maybe, yeah, exactly. And... Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe I can pop out some like Teespring's designs or something because I think they do. Um, uh, like, all you do is upload your design and put it out there for the public, and they give you a a, a little commission for every everyone mm -hmm. you sell or something like that. If we're gonna um, sell T-shirts, man, design them, dude. Design them on the campaigns we've played, and I'll alter the logo to match the campaign. Cyberpunk it up for the cyberpunk. You could put the characters that we were playing on the shirt, and it's heavy metal. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, the name yeah. So, of the And the name of the album at the bottom is Cyberpunk. I know we you have your little your little portraits and stuff, but actually, um, if it wasn't so much work, I would have had a much more uh, intricate overlay. Oh, hopefully, we'll get there. Maybe season two. I'm talking about t-shirts, man. The, and this campaign, this yeah, will but, be, but I, but this will I be want to do later. But I want to do rec recognizable art for the for for this stuff. And there's there's so much art to do that it's uh, overwhelming. So right now, one thing at a time, right? Um, yeah, man. I'm all art, like, you. If you go, if you go logo, and then based on campaigns, like that's a bunch of shirts right there because we played so many different kind of campaigns, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, album covers dude straight and, album covers and it gives it gives yeah. people the option it's like okay yeah it's the logo but it's like 10 different ways you know you choose what you like or what you think is cool and then you know play how I'm you want to like, play man it's already super hard because they got like uh the i don't know maybe it'll be easier soon if we can if we can get a good trade deal with mexico going because china's like in famine and uh biblical floods right now and who knows what else no, the whole planet is, but you know, the whole thing, yeah. is, the artwork of it, man, the artwork of it is something that doesn't have to be now, man. It's something that's going to happen later. Of course, you know, I'm just looking at it as possibility, you uh, know, I uh, mean, it, it's just, it's, it's, it's so much work that, um, man, it's so much work. I really want to get to the art part of it though. Um, and I feel like so close, um, 
Well, hopefully soon. I don't step, know. Step, having... by, step by yeah. step, we climb mountains simply because they are there. Yeah, everything's piece by I piece. Know. I mean, trying to do it all at once is just going to ruin the experience. The, the table's, <laughs> table's going great. Uh, I'm having a blast doing that. It's good. Uh, yeah, the the thing is, like, uh, you know, it brings on that pressure. It's like, what do I want to do after the table? <laughs> no, I already have plans. Unfortunately, it's like I want to go bigger. Um, but we will see. We'll see when we get there. And uh, every uh, when I when I hear your jaw with me, I, I I think in my head, Hector should do voiceovers. <laughs> I, think I hope so. I need to get some. It. I need to get some teeth put in so I can stop lisping. Anyone uh, else could do voiceovers. I got my you just have to have out. a voice to do voiceovers. This after summer, got, after, the after campaign no one teeth wanted were all jacked up. I started lisping a little bit. It's annoying. You know how many times I whistle at work when I'm talking to people? I'm still, <laughs> still waiting for these two bastards right here to get, in my, get back in my mouth. End of this month, this... gentlemen. End of this month. I get my checkup and, and the... hopefully I... I'm able to order my teeth. The end of this month. I keep I keep forgetting and pack. I keep telling myself that I'm gonna I'm gonna sing more on the stream. You're gonna see more? Sing. Ah. Uh, I keep telling myself I'm gonna sing more on the stream. Do what you want. I <laughs> my my brain gets all occupied and I don't think about uh, it anymore. But I'm just like I need to be more musical on the stream and sing some nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> or just start humming while you're drawing. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it. I had today, like at the on the preternatural or earlier, I had to stop myself because I was just gonna seriously start going. Did it? Did it? Did it? Did it? I was totally just gonna throw it in there. But all the whole time, like I said, I didn't even get to tell you. I didn't even get to tell you that we're gonna rush this episode. Thank you. I didn't even get to tell you that like we really need to rush the episode, and so I was like trying to rush like. ESP, you like hurry up, hurry up, when you get to the end. Um, how how rushed were you guys at the end there? I was having a great time. I didn't feel rushed at all. If anything, the rush was coming from the combat, not from like I didn't feel pressured to finish. I was just like, stuff's happening. Yeah, I throw gas on. I do this. I do that. It was more good. Uh, I mastered the excitement of the moment. Good, good, good. That's. You see, that's that's that is one of the things that I wanted to capture um, in the game. I've been, I've actually really does happy about it. Does this violate the rules? I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna say yes. I don't know what. The, 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 the. <laughs> but I've been trying to get to that point. Um, like the point, it's supposed to feel fast. Like yeah. we got through six rounds of combat. Um, in about five minutes for a role playing game, that is extremely good. Yes, even like extremely even, good. Even We're pretty focused, man. It was. I think it was more. It was like eight eight rounds of combat in like five minutes. That's super we're pretty. Good. We're pretty focused, man, on this. Not to mention that the role playing system itself, the rules, allow for the speed of this, the ease of yeah. the timekeeping system. And yeah. the dice rolls and the DSs, it, it's just, it really does as, help to move fast through these yeah, things. As, as much as much as I keep praising Call of Cthulhu, because I really do like the game. Call um, of Doodoo? Cthulhu. Um, Call of Doodoo. Ah, no, don't, don't, uh, don't, don't denigrate those guys. They're like Call of Duty. Of my, they're kind of my role models right now. Like they have Call a good share of the market. Oh, I was making game. fun of Call of I was making fun of Call of Duty, not Call of Cthulhu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh no, no, Call of Duty. They like as much as I like that game, a round of combat. Um, you know, it's like Call of Duty. It'll take you three minutes for one act, for one person act. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, and that's not even that slow. Um D is a lot slower. 
Uh, you oh, know, like man, D and D is there. There isn't, and there isn't like Call of Cthulhu doesn't really, really um, um, encourage rounds of combat. Like your character is going down in one or two hits. Generally, yeah. most characters go down in two hits. Yeah, but that's uh, that's accurate to the system and to the books, man. With Call of Cthulhu. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you're when you get hit by something in that game, you don't just. Um, like there's a lot of ways for you to instantly be very, very hurt. Uh, which, yeah, that shares and, that with this game, but no, um, for sure. And when you're looking at something like, say, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, which puts more emphasis on combat and gives you experience points for fighting rather than role playing, you wind up with combat heavy characters in a system that takes forever for the combat rounds to go through. Yeah, and I mean you're not, um, you you kind of are encouraged to do crazy stuff, which is nice. Uh, I'll give it that much. Um, but then, like as soon as somebody gets creative, it's like, oh well, let me look up that rule, or um, you're gonna have because there's no mechanic for it. Roll this other thing, and we'll just call it that. That um, is a very very important point uh, of distinction. I got motorcycles. Very, very important point of distinction between the heavy metal system and the Dungeons and Dragons system. When you have to look up something that just isn't in the rules, it's like, oh, well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and try to attack this specific area of his body or uh, something. And you're just like, well, that's not in the rules. Your system here has encompassed pretty much all of reality down to the point to where you could say, Yep, and there it is, easily indexed. And yeah, no, lightning attack, it's electricity. Here are the electricity rules. I can make a DS off of this, and this is how it works. Yeah. Um, it's funny. I remember working uh, working from reality into uh, like an abstractionalism and then uh, learning that I could work from an abstractionalism back into reality. <laughs> And, and matching matching them both up. And then uh, you got people tripping and dragons. I, I tripped the dragon. Okay, roll really, for it. Yeah, and it's so I silly. Really okay, you I, tripped I, look, them. As cool, as cool as that was, as epic as that was. Yeah, it's still was, like, dude, you tripped it, a dragon. Are you kidding wasn't me? It, wasn't it stupid, silly, super silly? You can't trip that a for, dragon. For an four, man he's got an axe to trip a two-ton dragon. No, no, no. He, so, so, um... Mike made a mistake by allowing Terry to be one size category larger when he transformed. You're still going to trip a four footed animal with a tail. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you can't was... trip that. You cannot trip that. It no, you can't. Four you... feet and a tail. No, it, it, didn't, it didn't make sense physically, by which I meant in the world of reality pertaining to physics. Because if you were able to pull down a, a dragon's leg that large, all you would do was twist your own body around like those guys who uh, hold onto the poles. You, you've man you've managed stuff. to hug the dragon's so, leg. It appreciates it and yeah. it's considering you as a pet. Yeah. Yeah. There's no, there's, it, 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 it thinks you've shown it love and it's there's deciding like, there's, that there's maybe no it won't kill you. Allow that. Like you would literally just turn your own body. How are you going to pull that guy's leg up when the, the leg oh. outweighs you by like three times at least? Speaking Here's something dragons, sideways uh, off topic. Uh, I've been watching this uh, anime, Goblin Slayer. Excellent anime. Yes, it's good. Oh, I've yeah. heard good things about it. It's fantastic. It. Watch, it uses the DD world. Hmm? I don't think Is it I'm over? Sure. They finished season one, put out a movie. Uh, they say at the end of hey, season one that Goblin Julie, Slayer will continue. Can't hear you. Swallow yeah. your mic. They can't hear me. What about now? Yo, 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 yo. Uh, maybe. Am I still audible? Yeah, you're still right. fine. Uh, you know what? Another yeah. good one is that that Thank one you, time Sonny. I got the one time I got reincarnated as a slime. Excellent anime, dude. It was actually really cool <laughs> and very RPG heavy, which I really loved. Like yeah, he'd just be doing uh, his thing, and the in the the world would just be like, "You just learned this new skill." He was like, "Oh, cool!" And he would use it like in his next combat and stuff. And he got super powerful. It was actually very, very fun to watch. That makes me think of uh, 
the episode of regular show where Rigby just kept eating garbage and wound up losing his body. And he was a little slime in a garbage can. <laughs> the body rejected him. He, so much. Uh, uh, <laughs> he was reincarnated as a slime. He didn't do a good job of role playing. Oh yeah. But speaking of dragons, uh, I remember, I remember one time, uh, I made Hector mad at us <laughs> when, uh, when Fang and his compadres bought a bunch of uh, the opposite element of the Earth Dragon, uh, and then uh, I, gave, I I cast uh, Airwalk on everybody, so we weren't touching the ground, so it couldn't sense us, and we walked right up to it, and we're like, okay, everybody take out your grenades. Earth, <laughs> Earth Dragon, Tremor Sense, yep. uh, Divination. They saw how the fight went, and they were like, mm, no. <laughs> I'm just going to cast Float on everyone. Yep. We're just we gonna hit like, it with air. air. Yeah, air grenades. Yep. <laughs> and we just all gang banged it in the face. <laughs> Insta win. Yeah, you, I was can, just you like, can't oh. say that online. We all mick banged it. In I the don't face. know. <laughs> <laughs> GB'd. <laughs> we GB'd it. We yes, GB'd yes. it. <laughs> they got GB'd by all of us. <laughs> we GB'd the F out of it, guys. Yeah. CD GB'd. GB'd. <laughs> it was a total punk concert. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> No, no, I mean, just one of those things. Uh, new div- divination rules, since you mentioned it, should be coming out soon. Uh, is it, is it going to be like a chronomancy where you spend skill points to do cool stuff? Yeah, because it's way too powerful. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's game breaking. Um, so the one spell, the one notable spell that I've been working on it is, uh, is Foretell the Future like super powerful so this is again one of those things that you learn as you as your game mechanics start coming in from now on when you foretell future you can play and then at any point you can go back in the story and redo it oh snap but that's way too powerful right so it's like a 10 point ability already it's probably more than that uh, because it's better than a luck point so you basically get a redo yeah meaning that you that you 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 say you cast when, it before, or is it like when, the yeah. time where it's like so nope. it's going bad? It's like ah, oh, I'm gonna go back in time. Nope, you you, you cast yeah. it before. The other one's like I, I use saved that the as game. Use that as I the, saved the game as a save file. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna save now we're gonna go into battle, and yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and oh, we lost back Not, to our save point. Uh, no, we're gonna go back to that point. You know, like uh two years ago like maybe i don't know i'll put a limit well, on it but the thing about that would that's, be that's some of the details i need to hash out but well that would be kind of easy your character would lose that amount of time off of the character's life yeah so you you'd re i mean you'd you get no points no you get detailed for age detailed notes but you that's lose the thing some of, age. some of the stuff uh some of the stuff is relying on characters taking good notes um, because one of the can't do you, it reminded me, you reminded yeah. me of one of the biggest jokes that's ever happened. Uh, I'm sure pretty much everybody's gone through the same joke. You're in the middle of the campaign and everything's gone completely sideways, and somebody says, well, So, when did we last save? <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. You take this, you take the spell basically. And it's another thing, like uh, like for the cyberpunk campaign, like if I do a dedicated cyberpunk mantra, one of the things you'll have is like intermittent downloads and backups. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like oh, instead your of died, but your consciousness is on a backup yeah, server. So, so as many backups as you can buy or afford, you know, you can dude I'll get away with like You're you're in battle, awesome. but the problem is your connection is lagging. You're mm-hmm. frozen in time as you get beaten to death by your opponents. Okay, real quick, yeah. uh, Hector, have you seen both uh, seasons of Altered Carbon? I've only seen the first one. Okay, all right. I'm not gonna say anything then. I was just gonna. Well, you know, Altered Carbon is my favorite uh, sci-fi novel, but Didn't I didn't even know it was a book. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude, it's fantastic! But dude, but the you show, need to get in. You need to get in. That means the book three times is good, no? 
Heinlein, man. Heinlein. It is. It is one of those where no three times is good. No ten times. Oh, nice. Uh, dude, the they seriously turn like the main story. I say main story. It's like the main subplot. The subplot is so integral to the character growth. And it's really, really rich. And they just flipped it around and did a nothing with it. And they really like they took away a lot from the character because of that. It just But it, but that'd dude, probably be more of a they would have to do like several seasons to jam it all in there. Nope. Nope. They could have done just fine. All they did all they had to do was not change a bunch of stuff in the subplot. Hmm. But didn't yeah. make any sense. It's like if anybody out there in internet land has like, ever seen Starship just, Troopers and yeah. read Heinlein's Starship Troopers, you'll see the major differences and be like, wow, they ruined that movie completely. But what? the movie, see, okay, here's the thing. The movie had a charm of its own, right? I'll give uh, it that. I'll give it that. That's why it was so popular because but, they did a good job of ruining an excellent sci-fi novel. Yeah, they ruined it really well, but the the <laughs> but Alter, but Alter that, Carbon. I think that Hector is the best way to describe what happened there. They ruined it very well. They, they did, they did. But when you see Altered Carbon, they did not ruin it well. They took away a lot from the character. It really the subplot is so integral to Altered Carbon because it shows it 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 mirrors what's going on and shows you the character development and why it's important and it makes you really really interested in the character whereas the subplot that they did in the in the show I was just like super boring <laughs> just detracts from everything that's going on they should have just left the whole thing out they're going to just I've come up with the name for this after show it's yeah. not hanging out it's nerding out nerding out hey yeah no no no, no i got it i got it preternatural after show be distracted with us <laughs> no we're straight right. nerding right. we're, we're right. straight we're straight nerding out man we are we are but honestly uh like i'm not a big reader but um well sort Compared of to me you are <laughs> I don't read well, if it's, if it's if it's if it's comic books and the you know five thousand comic books I've read, that's a different thing. But uh, but I would highly highly recommend you read Altered Carbon. There's three no, books, and I highly recommend everything by Highland. I will, I will. I I, I did enjoy uh, Strange and Strange Land quite a bit. Um, we do Takeshi Ko. I, I don't know how to pronounce it because I don't know what he means by a soft C in Russian. Do you know what that means? Mm -hmm. uh, so 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 whenever whenever somebody talks to him, it's like, oh, are you Takeshi Kovacs? And it's like, oh, I know they don't know Russian because he used a hard C. I don't know what that means. Hmm. So it's like Kovas or Kovash. I don't know which one Oh, the hard C is kind of like the S K C problem in english with the k or the s where the c is both a k or an s so it's probably kovas um so it's takeshi kovas is a uh, absolute badass absolute badass like batman level stuff this guy's amazing and it doesn't come off uh, in the as, show as well that, yeah. yeah it doesn't come off well, not they really show you. Works. He's like, it was an awesome show. Yeah, but I and I did really like the look of it, which was even more disappointing to me because I was like, oh man, they like visually they captured it very well. Um, like I, it was really close to what I imagined in my head, but 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 read the books because it's so much better. It's absolutely amazing. Well, I mean the the. The movies are never going to compare to the source material, you know. You say that, any, but well, it's yeah, no, I'm with Hector on this. I'm with Hector on. You say that, but look, this. yeah, look at, look at uh, Frank Miller's uh, Sin City. That was perfect. Amazing. Chef's Kiss was amazing. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, books that have been well translated into a movie. I think a lot of it comes down to the length of the novel itself. 
for example, if you take Breaking Bad, you look at it and you say, that was an epic TV show. That was fan friggin tastic. If it was a movie, no. We're if it was it. even a trilogy of a movie, no. It had to be what it was. The story so, was as long as it was. Television gets, look, television gets overlooked as a source of media because it's television. People are like, eh, it's crappy. It's on TV. But when you have the freedom to be able to go for 10 seasons and put out this many episodes to tell your story, you can get truer to the book. And when you're looking at a condensed version, when you're looking at a movie, when you want to tell the story of Spider-Man or Batman and you want to do it in two hours, it's just like, dude, really? I mean, come on. You're, you're, you're just robbing it of well, everything that it is. I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, look at Lord of the Rings. There was changes. There were things that were, and I'm going to hit some, you equally. Some, some, of them, some of them were different, but some of them were necessarily different. Yeah, I really want to watch a movie about guys walking in, in the wilderness for 18 months or whatever it is. And I'm going to hit you equally with the 1970s animated version of The Hobbit with the most fluid animation I think I've ever seen in my entire life and a truly succinct story that was just beautifully told versus The Hobbit no, that, see, yeah. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up because uh, while Lord of the Rings was pretty excellent, The Hobbit was garbage. Uh, For everybody out there, do not watch that piece of poo, The Hobbit. Watch uh, the old 70s Lord of the Rings, Hobbit. That thing was hot gold. It's, Jay, the, equi it's the equivalent of the Lord of the Rings trilogy. J JB Supreme says, where is Tom Bombadil? Who that? Tom yeah. Bombadil? <laughs> I'm all like, is that a character I played? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a character in Lord of the Rings, but I can't remember. Ah. Yeah, I, don't, I, I, I did read The Hobbit, but I... It sounds familiar, but I'm not good. I'm not great with names. Thank you for the comment, Jay. We're just all confused. <laughs> yeah, I read. Thank you for dude, the comment. <laughs> I, I, I read those books. I didn't memorize those books. I read them back in junior high. I'm old, but I'm not that old. Mm, I don't know. I should read them again. Right. Uh, have you read anything recently, Yuli? Nah, I'm pretty much thinking I have no right to call myself a nerd because out, I haven't read. I need to go anymore. back and read the Tolkien series. I think I the last thing that I that I read was Dracula because I'd never read it before, and I just it's been so long since I sat down and read a book. I can't even tell you the last thing I read or how long ago it was. That's how long it's been. Mm -hmm. It's all articles, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do read a lot of nonsense like that, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, I think you, there's more to gain from literature than there is from. I'll be right back. So there's a thing that I need to do real quick. We've been on screen for a long time, and I've drank a lot of grape juice. You'll have to excuse me for a grape juice <laughs> moment. See, uh, my only problem with books is <laughs> it doesn't read itself to me, and there's no pictures. <laughs> have you tried audiobooks? Uh, see, I think that's the way I should go. I mean, if Go I have it. somebody reading it to me, you know, I might be more engaged. If I try to sit down and read a book, it's really hard because I don't know if I have ADD or what, but I start reading and then my mm -hmm. mind starts traveling and I'm just like, ah, TV now, you know, like. Yeah, oh. so so I'm a, uh, I, I guess I learned uh, audioly or something. So it, if I read a book, I have to read it at the pace at which I can speak. Otherwise, it does. I, I will completely. I will read something and it will instantly be gone. Yes. No memory of it whatsoever. I always have to so, constantly double, triple read the thing I just read because nothing registered. Yeah, so I have to read at a pace at which I can speak. So that already makes it like uh, I'm an audio learner anyway. So an audio book is just as good for me. What if I double down on it? What if I get a book and then get the book on tape and then have the narrator and read it as like you basically read along it, with the narrator. You know what I mean? Maybe that'll maybe that'll help. 
try, try it out. Try it out. Um, but you, there's actually a bunch of free audiobooks on on YouTube too, if you want to just try it without buying anything. Sounds good. I don't, because I would like to. I don't know. I just, uh, can't, yeah, I don't know if I don't know if they'll have what you want, but yeah, I mean, I need my pictures too. Like I'm, I'm sitting next to literally like 2,500 comic books right here to my right. I've been meaning to read The Alchemist for years because Christian yeah, which recommended one's that? it years ago. He's like, dude, it's a really short book. And I think you'll like it. And I'm like, cool. Just haven't sat down and read it yet. <laughs> do it, do it. So right now, uh, uh, I won't call myself a good writer, but I'll call myself a competent writer. I have all the, like, four things that I've written. Um, and it was because, uh, like, I still have this thing where where, where people are too long-winded. I'm just like, get the, get the damn story out already. Um, but once I read Lovecraft, and that's probably all like, call Cthulhu a lot like you'll have a five page story and that's that five page story will have more content than an 800 page Stephen King novel it's just like uh, no filler it's just straight to yeah. the point this is what happens no, let me back flash, I mean, let me flash back freaking 20 pages so you can understand yeah, well, one he, action that this guy takes and well uh, he, 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 use, he uses a, a language that's pretty much uh, prose poetry but it's very highly evocative, and it, it just uh, really, really nails it in. Okay, uh, J.B. Spring says, Tom was from the novel, but the character wouldn't have done very well on screen. Oh. So, yeah. Reading this one again for, like, the fifth time. Good stuff. Brave I New can't. World, man. Oh. I have no reference. Ha. Huxley? <laughs> yeah, dude. Um, can you, oh, okay, okay. So I really need a scholar to explain that book to me because I, I feel, I, no, 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 no. My comprehension level is not a, that of a dollar. Okay. I'm, 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 uh, I'm not slow witted and I, I, I feel like I should have understood something and just couldn't because to me, John was a big giant wuss and I didn't get his character. Um, I felt like he was complaining about nothing, and I, I feel like the, the whole point of the story just flew over my head. What was the point of that, and why should I care about John? He, he was such a mealy mouth little wussy head. I didn't get it. Uh, what was his problem? What was his problem? What was John's problem? Why? He's why John. was he such? Why was he such a big giant wuss? He's John. I'm still rereading he, it, man. He he hung himself because he could have sex with as many women as he wanted. I didn't get it. The whole, the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get it. I'm. That's why I'm still rereading it again and again and trying to piece together all the things. It's a classic, and I don't. You just, I didn't I'm understand. Still, I, I was like, what's wrong with this guy? Uh, I'm still if, kind if of right up with you. the stream has read this book, can you please comment below for Hector's Yeah, sentence? please. <laughs> if you, I'm still, I'm still, I'm, not, I'm, still actually, world, I'm still actually in the same boat with Hector, and I'm trying to go through and figure out the details. And I, I understand uh, that there was problems with the society. Very undesirable ones. I understand, I understood the implications of the genetic modification. I understood the 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 inane vapid uh lack of values but john in my opinion was not his own person because he relied too heavily on society to tell him what he could and couldn't enjoy or have values despite whatever's going on around him they let him into no. paradise and he could have had the run of the joint and then whatever he wanted he didn't have to suffer because no, well, that's uh, it's, it's it's basically what's going on today. Uh, as far as that, uh, you're looking at the internet, but not the internet. The interconnectedness of people, the artificial value of advertisement and uh, self-image, and all of these things. 
And the reason I've read this thing so many times is because I'm trying to get to, and in the course of it, I'm looking at other reference material, mostly psychological stuff like psychology books, uh, to try to figure out this character because uh, Huxley so it went over your head too. See, I yeah, feel like and maybe... Huxley he he seems to write from a the standpoint of a psychiatrist. He's not unintelligent, but I feel like he he I, like either I'm not seeing something or he missed the he missed the mark because John to me he he was just beaten. I had an idea for a psychological thriller for a campaign, but I'm not smart beaten. enough to run it. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, man, that would be really cool, you know, like alternate realities and stuff's not really what it is, what you think, and you're kind of fighting yourself, but not really. How do I put this together? Crap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's, it simple. just fell off. It just fell off. Simple, simple. <laughs> swoosh versus swoosh. Uh, we run into each other so fast we become the singularity. I am now God. Win. Here, bad <laughs> swoosh, you work. stay here. Good swoosh, you come with me. Man, I don't know. I feel like I need to ask a scholar about Huxley. I don't get it. Get on social media and be like, any college professors have read this book? You want to hang no, out for I mean, like two hours and can, talk about it? <laughs> you can you can go into symbolism. You can go into there's probably all... a forum just about this. Well, book. Why? Why do you have? <sighs> there probably is. But he I was don't... beaten. He was just a beaten person that the system had molded in to what he became. But he wasn't even part of the system. He was born on, on his reservation or the only but place. But you become part of the system regardless, man. And, well, like I said, that's why I'm rereading re again, man. I barely... He, he, was, he, was from the, he was from the place where uh, they didn't genetically modify people. Yeah, and like I was saying, you get beaten by the system. Especially... So again there, was that, was, that supposed to be, was that supposed to be like allegory for like reservations? Like because he was a Native American, that. he was half Native American or something. Was that supposed to be I like? Looked, I never looked at it from that perspective. I was looking at it at the simple point of the eugenics, where you're not. I don't, see, that's another thing where Huxley uh, confounds me because where he came from, uh, his mother was addicted to alcohol. She was a prostitute. She uh, did not get along well in the community, even though she was an alpha and she was beautiful. Um, she, she didn't, she, she was, she was uh, mocked and derided in that society. And so, so he was beaten and treated poorly and uh, they had to live with all the, the, the mother's uh, uh, dudes that she brought over so she could, uh, drink alcohol just to have money for alcohol so why why did he if 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 the the point was to to show us the terrors of a new technological society why did he make the old society so horrible to the point where it's like clearly i don't want to live in that society where women whore themselves out for alcohol and 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 people are derided and treated poorly and and uh, and whipped up into into these shambles of men, uh, uh, and then and then you're supposed to compare that to the place where you have flying cars, and 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 sex with uh, a different a uh, gorgeous woman every day and get to take pills whenever you get a little upset and have a just have a good time and let it fly over like it sounds it sounds so much better than the other one I don't understand how you're supposed to be bad. It's, the way that he wrote it. That's one of the points of it. It's uh, which world is better. When we look back, we romanticize. We say, hey, look at the way people lived in medieval times. Life must have been better. But you forget that the trials and tribulations of every single person when they're going through it at the time is the same as what we're experiencing now. It doesn't matter the technology. It doesn't matter the interconnectedness. But what does matter is that we live our lives identically to the lives in the past. And we say, oh, it must have been so much better back then. No way. 
<laughs> it'll be so much better in the future. But I, I can't feel bad for John because he should have been a lot harder than the people that think he was you're introduced to. I supposed to feel bad for him, man. It's kind of like uh it's kind of like in Stranger in a Stranger a Strange Land when uh jeez, I can't even remember his name right now. It's just the stranger. Uh I haven't read it's that also, book. It was probably years. also something with JC because people like to name give the initials of Jesus Yeah, Christ, so but when was, Jubal was, sure dev- was also John Jubal something. was devastated by the death of his buddy. And but oh he was Michael, he was Angel Michael, but Michael, remember. that's right. Michael, when Michael was shot down, it was very matter of fact the way he wrote it down. There wasn't any real detail to make you not feel for the character because he was just dying. It was like a thing that happened, like if you stub your toe. Well, and I was, I, I was still very sympathetic. I mean, I knew I knew that Michael had to do what Michael had to do, but I didn't like it. It was very unpleasant for me. It was very stub your toe to me, but well, I when suppose John, that's the well, difference. When John hung himself, the... I was like, "So what?" <laughs> yeah, no. Was... Forget that guy; he was a wuss, anyways. When John yeah, hung himself, uh, yeah. when John hung, when John hung himself, I felt that one. But when Michael was uh, getting shot down in uh, Stranger in a Strange Land, I didn't feel it. It felt like stubbing a toe. Jubal was destroyed. But it was very well, matter of fact. Hyman, Hyman did write it very matter of factly. He just, uh, he didn't, he 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 lacked a great deal of descriptiveness, which he held throughout the book. And uh, I don't know why he did that, but I still couldn't help but feel for Michael because I didn't, I liked Michael. Like he was, I, he was lacked, I lacked that attachment to Michael, but I had the attachment to John. And when John hung Where? himself, I was just, hmm? Weird. Hmm. I, Weird. I guess it's writing style, and I feel that Highland's very descriptive through his character's speeches. But I, I had totally the opposite because uh, uh, I, the way that that uh, Huxley wrote uh, uh, John's death to me was like I should have been really torn about it. Uh, really, really hated the way it happened, but I was just like. Who cares? Um, it, it's like I was, I was just like, give everybody a stick, let them hit him like a pinata. And give it just straight pissed me off. Man. <laughs> it still pisses me off every time I read it. Really, so, I but, couldn't. I couldn't get. Couldn't feel compassion for John. I didn't understand. You know, I'll agree with you on that. I don't exactly feel compassion for him, but it just pisses me off. You know which character I like? That alpha guy that like. Uh, all the women wanted to sleep with, and um... oh, no, I hated the crap out of that guy. <laughs> I, I wanted to beat guy. the hell out of him. That guy was great. He's he was just like, hey, I like, I like this Shakespeare stuff. It's really groovy, but he's the definition what's... of a piece of crap. What's all this crap about? Like uh, uh, this romance and all this. Like he was like, don't you he's think the it's a little tacky. Of a piece like... of crap. Yeah, he was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good lord. That was a cool character. If he had died, I would have been... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, can't, I can't help it. Um, You know what I saw recently? Um, Cobra Kai. Uh, that's that's what I'll recommend if you're checking it out. Uh, I, I rewatched the, the three Karate Kid movies, and then I, I saw five seasons of Cobra Kai. I binged on it. Uh-huh. Um. Really good, really good. Uh, one of the guys, uh, there's like the nerd walking by him, and he slaps those books out of his hands, and he's like, "Sorry, kid, force a habit." <laughs> I'm just like, I was like, "Oh, that character's so good." Yeah. <laughs> this explains your GMing style. Mm-hmm. You guys know I'm a bully. Yeah, it's true. I can't. I can't help it. Yeah, what are you no, doing? You, always uh, give us, you always give us a fair chance. Yeah, well, no, that's why I roll. There, there is feel, always a fair chance. But actually, well, sometimes it's like it's probably sometimes one of the toughest GMs. Eye, sometimes I see that look in your eye and I'm like, oh man, if I make one little mistake here, I'm dead. I'm done. <laughs> and then I make um, the mistake and then I add that character to the graveyard. <laughs> Hector is one of the toughest GMs I've ever gone up against, man. Well, I told you, I don't, I never fudge a roll. I always stand by whatever the dice say. 
Uh, but I, I understand that things are tough, and I do go out of my way to give you guys outs every for everything all the time. Um, well, for sure, but, like but, it, you never, know, it never feels unfair, is what I'm saying. But 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 having the power of God, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's real nice. But, uh, <laughs> you know, having a little experience, having a little experience with all God thing. Uh, like you, you, you really got to take ego out of it. So I try to set up the challenge beforehand and just stick to it, whatever it is. It's like, this should be interesting. I'm we'll just let it go where it goes. Right? This should be interesting. He says, <laughs> <laughs> this should be interesting. <laughs> More like uh this will probably kill him. Uh, maybe not. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Well, no, I, var I vary it up. I vary it up. I it's like up um, this entire elaborate trap. I can't see how they could possibly survive. This should be fun. No, 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 no. But I always, um, whenever I write a challenge, I always make sure to write a way out. Several, uh, actually. Several. Yeah. I, well, if I want to be tough, I'll only leave one solution. But I never ever close off to alternate solutions. Uh, you know, you guys outsmart me, yeah, you outsmart me. Uh, there's, it's, it's bad GMing to punish creativity from the players. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Because if you set up a where you're like, they that, have to I die, and that, then we, we do some squirrely stuff, and we so get out there, it's like, Very oh, well said. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to that. Oh, they're not. They're not using my staff of uh, solving this. Uh, now you all die. It's like, no, dude, like, get over it. Uh, but, oh, see, man, that's, that's, a, that's actually one of those things as far as uh, GMing goes. And that's why I don't sit there and complain and brood and fart all over everything when my character dies. I'm just like, oh, I'm dead. Because I know that there was a strategy. There was an out. I just didn't see it. Yeah. Most times, and I'm going to toot my own horn. I get you, and I'm like, um, hmm. I'm, I'm the opposite. I'm like, this bastard's going to kill me. <laughs> it's like earlier today. Earlier today, man, uh, with the uh, knowing where this thing was coming out of the desert, I went into the desert and I went after it. Uh, knowing the way the small town was working, I worked the small town, put it together, got it to go the way it went. Even though someone pulled out a gun. Yeah. You could dwell on it all you want. I know I I'm going to poo on that one for a while. All right. Yeah, as you, as you then should. There's, then there's like when, uh, when I did the Resident Evil campaign, man, and I put all those puzzles, and you were being an ass, man. Straight ass. You're like, it's man with, pu with pie and hat. <laughs> yeah that's man on boats with pie and hat <laughs> and then you finally put all the pieces together and you're like it's a hexagon and there's extra pieces mm -hmm. that was my i was doing a classic dungeon crawl so i was making hard puzzles and i was like this puzzle isn't nearly hard enough i'm going to give it two extra pieces just to screw with the yeah players. no that's that, that, that's 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 fine but i think um, there's there's like a difference between making a super hard puzzle that maybe leads to extra ammo or uh, a secret item or something. Yeah, compared and to, you guys compared got to, into, to making one that's campaign ending. You guys, <laughs> you guys got into that wall so easily because I set that puzzle up and I was like, there's no way they're going to recognize. They're not going to look at the picture on the wall. And it's the first thing you guys do is look at the picture of the wall. Mike was like, that chair. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys got me with that. Isn't the same. And he, so he moves the chair. I'm like, ah, and the wall opens. You guys, Boom, you guys, you guys got, get all, you guys... all these luck points and ammo and all sorts of everything. And I was just like, all right, that's fine. But I had already made such brutal puzzles through the whole thing to where I, I solved that one, turned the whole screen white. I solved it in 30 minutes. Yeah, I did it again and again and again and consistently solved it, solved it in 30 minutes. And every time I was coming up with a different solution to it, I was like, ah, that's unique. So the no, problem I, I mean, Mike, Mike screwed us out of at least two luck points because he was like, oh, I've got this. I was like, are you sure, bro? I'm pretty good at this. I mean, and he showed me 
he just paste, paint and turned all the squares white and paint and showed it to me. I was like, you, <laughs> you solved talking, it. Talking hmm? trash about Mike nonstop this whole stream. No, I'm, no, no. That was a brilliant. You know, Mike, I love you. But I don't no, that was brilliant, <laughs> actually. That was brilliant. And I counted that as a solve, man. You guys were oh. in that room, and you kept losing luck point after luck point. Over and over, it's like, reset the room. Reset the room. Solve the puzzle under 30 minutes. And Mike was like, I solved it and turned it around. And Hector was honest and was like, Mike did not solve it. He threw I it in paint. It. And Too he put integrity. white squares. And I was like, I'm counting that as solved. Because I already took all the luck points that you guys got from solving the room, and that should've. was actually smart. That was actually you're tricking me. That was a good trick, and I guess his puzzle was too hard, which you should have. Oh. Uh, it's good. To, it's good to take characters' luck points. It sets wow. boundaries. <laughs> it sets expectations. Uh, ex yeah, expectations. I'm having a hard time hearing you, man. Uh, it sets expectations when you take a character's luck point. Now that you know the second time, if you do that again, you're going to die. Uh, you got away with it this time, but that's it. Oh, but when he solved that puzzle by cheating, man, uh, you guys had already lost like 12 luck points. You were in an impossible room. Yeah. You had to solve that puzzle in under 30 minutes. We went that we spent that whole day with all I feel, of you. I feel I feel like uh I feel like you solved it in in 30 minutes and you said, Oh, all of them must be able to solve it in 10. No. Together, because they'd be able to do it together. Right? I gave you guys 30 minutes to solve that. No, because then because that was like at the end, and that would have taken because the amount of times we failed, we would have been there like eight hours. We were there eight hours. It was the whole session. No, oh, we were there like 40 minutes. No, it was probably like four hours. Because <laughs> I, I, I remember towards the end, I, I basically gave up. It was you and Mike trying to solve it. After a while, I was mm -hmm. like, I'm out. I'm done. I have nothing to add to this. And you and Mike we were the ones like, trying to figure and it over out. And I was just sitting and back over. like, uh, and that's when die. Mike was just like, screw this. Well, we, weren't, we weren't working well together because I was like, no, dude, don't move that. And he's like, already, he had the computer, so he's already moving it. Uh, like, no, you guys should have each had your own computer to uh, solve. Yeah. That, was, that was probably before. But it was the one puzzle stuff. sitting in front of you. So it it's made sense that you guys have puzzle. one puzzle screen because that was in the game, the one puzzle screen. So you could sit there and argue about it and say, no. And then one person says, that's it. I'm solving it. And I pulled it in 30 minutes consistently and said, all right, that's what I'm giving them the time as. Otherwise, I would have been like, if it was an hour that I was pulling it, I'd have been like an hour. And I, you guys, I remember feeling I a lot more the, pressure than 30 minutes. I set the timer. I was like, another 30 minutes. Another luck points from all of you. I, I another 30 I minutes. One, one of us is misremembering because I remember feeling a lot more pressure than 30 minutes. We were losing but, uh, four hit four but, luck points at a time, basically. But that pressure might make might have made me uh, misremember. So you hated it. Um, see, the thing is, I'm usually good at those. Uh, but maybe, maybe well, I was, you did uh, solve you did pressure. solve man with pie hat and boomerang yes, in boat and when it, it's a hexagon and there's mm -hmm. extra pieces why are there extra pieces mm -hmm. i did solve that yeah i have decent spatial reasoning it was an old school dungeon crawl there had to be puzzles man no oh fantastic. your most wicked puzzle where all what? they had to do was turn all they had to do was try to leave the only thing they didn't do was try to leave. Well, yeah, we wanted to solve it. Our tenacity worked against us. <laughs> I don't We're going to keep going. We don't there. care what you say. Ah! I don't even think I was there for that, man. Was I? No, no. I remember that uh, one. I was, dating, I was dating that no, one. That was, uh, that, was, that was Terry's druid thing with the falcon or an eagle, whatever he had. Uh, Finbar, maybe. No, I don't remember the name. Uh, I can't remember the name. Fer Fergus Finbar, I don't know. Um, How many luck points did you take from those guys for none, that? None, because it wasn't even a... Uh, it wasn't, wasn't we death, it was trapped. just trapped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all that dude's try to leave. 
I don't I was like, remember the... how we got out of it. Yeah, well, for mine, you guys were in a Resident we... Evil campaign, and you were in it was, a room. It was going to end the back. campaign, so I gave up and gave you the answer. That's how it ended. Mm. <laughs> I did well. I did give up and give you guys the answer as well. When Mike turned to me and said, "Boom, I solved it," and Hector's right. honest, and was like, "Nope, he just oh, used right. paint." I yeah, was I like, can... you know what? I'm going to count that anyways, man. I but, I couldn't yeah. do it. It was like uh, it it would have burned a hole in my soul. I hate lying, so <laughs> it was a good puzzle. I don't know, man. It was a, it was a wretched <laughs> puzzle. All it did was torture us. You sadist. <laughs> that was the point. When you're a GM, sometimes you have to be a sadist, man. If you got your characters in a dungeon crawl, dungeons are full of puzzles and brutal traps, and you put them up against these puzzles and brutal traps. Like solve it I until know. you finally get to the point to where you're almost at the end, and that was the last puzzle. That was the hardest puzzle, and I was just like, solve it or die. I did love power playing. In that campaign, it's like, okay, zombies, what do zombies like to do? They like to run up and grab you. Oh, I'll make an awesome wrestler. <laughs> and I was just wrecking stuff. <laughs> a zombie Man, runs no. at you. I wait for him. I grab him. I smash his face against I'm, the wall. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I, am, I am really proud of you for, for making a character who can't wrestle because you haven't done that in quite a while. Who, me? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Dan's like yeah. my first can't wrestle character. Yeah. yeah, one of one of and, them, and uh, and this is and this is after a discussion that we had where and I discussed how wrestling is the actual mode of hand to hand combat for all of history and why it has such a pertinent role in the campaign. <laughs> and you still went out and then made a character who can't wrestle, so that's yep. that's pretty that's pretty amazing. That's great, and I mean, uh, it's true to life, some people can't wrestle. Some, some, people, well. some people are on top of the food chain until you get hands on them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, snipe me from a mile away, whatever. But we're standing five feet apart. You're screwed. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Well, because if, if I made I'm a wrestler, enjoying. I would have been a terrible shot. So yeah, it was either good at toe-to-toe -to -toe or good at range. I decided range. If I keep the monster back, I'll at least have a chance. Mm. I need them destiny points to soak up the damage. Yes, um, there's going to be a lot more monologuing in your future, Hector. That's what you're supposed <laughs> to do. You guys have been. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do from the start. Hey, man. Got to make those guys monologue so I can so I can get out my get my story out and feel proud about all the <laughs> dang work that I did to get it get it get the I've episode never seen together. A TV show, come on, man. Oh, you saw two episodes ten years ago. Um, um. I remember there were two dudes, and they drove like some nineteen seventies car. It was a uh, sixty nine Impala. Impala was that sixty nine seventy? So, uh... which is funny because you because you because you also picked a Chevy car from a uh, six. <laughs> When, well, I mean, when we were talking about it, we, I started looking up images, and I was like, "Man, this truck actually looks pretty cool. I'm down with this." That's why it I was is so, a very nice looking truck. Actually, the especially 70, the seventy two, the seventy two Chevy C10 is way better than the sixty eight. But you called sixty eight, Yuli, so I was just like, "Ah, oh, we're gonna roll with it." I started looking at the pictures. I was like, "Oh man, this is a really cool truck." Yes, yeah, get this. <laughs> the aesthetics. I was sold on the aesthetics. Oh, the 305 engine, and the 305 engine 68. had better power band. However, the the 68 had the straight six, which could tow a house. I didn't give you the straight six. Um, so the the 67 had a straight six, which is also an option in 68. But in 68, for the 50th anniversary, the 307 V8 was an option. Now I gave you guys that. 305, also, 305, 307 Chevy small block. Yeah, there are also block. there are also yeah. other options which were even uh, heavier than that. There was like a 320 something, and, and there was a, I said no, nah, 307 small. There was a marine version that had a 245 horsepower. Yeah, the one yeah, you, you have is 200 horsepower. Only. Yeah, 
Yeah, you get, and the power band depends on the number of cylinders and their line. So with the, the with the straight six, you could tow a house. With the V8, you get higher uh, power output at the higher RPM, so you get better top speed. By, by the way, guys, I am by no means a mechanic. This is just the damn research that I do for this game. <laughs> I was a mechanic for a couple Wait, of years, man. Well, Luke I was, was a yeah. mechanic, and aren't you like uh, even uh, just a little tiny bit impressed that I know half of what I'm talking about right now? Yeah, man. I mean, I was ASC certified. <laughs> I was ASC certified for a couple of years back in 2002 2000, through 2004. And then, you know, I moved on from working as a mechanic. I lost my job horribly. And now I'm no longer a mechanic, but still I like to keep up with cars. And yeah, you're pretty accurate, man. There was a little difference with the curb weight of the car. Uh, for well, the Chevy C10, unfortunately, it would be 4, I, went with, I went with what it says on the door, uh, GVW 5,000 pounds, yeah, which I know yeah. is inaccurate. It, it should be about not. 30. It should be between like, 30 31 90 or something like that it's uh, around three it's around 4200 pounds for the 68 yeah but and uh, it also depends on if you got the step side bed or the flat side the fleet side uh yeah, and and I you, you guys got the, the long side. bed or the short if you got the long bed or the short bed it also alters the curb weight man so you know well i knew it was wrong but that's what it says on the door so that's what i went with because it works I, it that's more so that's more for the tire pressure um yeah it was also... just dumb. it was just it was just dumb to find the, the the info it was really hard um i if if, if it would have gotten here in time i was about to order the owner's manual oh man hoping that, <laughs> hoping that i have the information yeah yeah oh man so much research goes into this game uh but uh so um last week i i i said don't hold me to it because that's too much work i don't know if i was going to get be able to get it in and i didn't so we will uh continue to start try to work on that uh hopefully we have a surprise for you uh guys coming up in the next couple of weeks uh that should be awesome um check us out uh, you can own, right now. I think you can catch two episodes of of, uh, of Preternatural on this site. But if you want to catch up with the story, go to my YouTube channel. The link is in the description below. Artist for Hire S, and you can watch season uh, episodes one through six, which are already up in YouTube. Uh, today was episode seven, and next week I hope you join us for episode eight. Thank oh, you. Either. Finally. JB, I'm doing announcements. Uh, I just went ahead and started you because we, I think we've been doing this for a while. We've been on here forever. <laughs> oh, uh, I didn't realize so, this was the end of the show. Yeah, I just sprung it on you guys. A total yeah, it was it's like, okay. I'm, I'm already ready to leave, so go ahead with announcements. <laughs> total, total <laughs> I was losing room. light so over here from the cat, window. Cat, catch us every mon Monday. Go down below the, the screen here and, and hit schedule and see what time it comes out on your time zone. Um, time zone. Strikes and, again, and, and and click the click the other link down there to find out what I'm what I'm uh want to catch up on those those episodes that you've missed on uh, my YouTube channel. Join me tomorrow, uh, for my draw with me, draw with Santana. That Santana, that's me. That's the hardest artist for hire. S is uh, I'll uh, be the there. S and artist for hire. Um, whether you like it or not, I'll be there. <laughs> no, we're always appreciated. Um. We do have some social media coming up for you guys. If you guys can run through that for me real quick, uh, you can catch Let me us go on. Go ahead and look this up. You can catch us on Instagram at Heavy Metal Twenty Twenty Three. Uh, there will be more pictures in the future, but for now, just go ahead and give us a like, anyways. All right. Yeah, like it. Oh, so guys, like, subscribe, follow, ring bell, uh, leave a comment. Do all the things for us, guys. We're trying to grow this channel. We got some good stuff coming up. I think you're going to appreciate it if you're into this kind of you stuff. Can't see we, it. Um, it's do, heavy do, metal do, on Reddit. Do all, do all the clickities and the clackities and give us give us some support. Um, we love you guys, and we hope that you uh, will do that for us. All the episodes uh, are linked on heavy metal. It's 
r slash heavy metal h-e-a-v-y-m-e-t-t-l-e join us in the discussion that has yet to happen releases of compendums releases of well Mod- all sorts yeah um, modules. Do, the compendums the modules the the, the the core book and our surprise book which is coming out um so also the- artwork will be released there and i mean join us now get in there i'm actually looking for a few moderators so if yeah and yeah, if you look at the bill, my screen after i, I uh, sign out you'll see that artwork is mine I, I did that with a brush pen without any construction lines, which is, uh, if you guys aren't, you, you understand why that's difficult. But I think I think that's enough announcements, and I think we've been going long enough. I'm just going to go ahead and thank you all for joining us. Uh, um, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> just, just remember, guys, it's a two-way street, so the more you love us, the more you allow us to love you. So Let like, me like help you to help... That's let true. me we, help let me help not, you to help me to help you yeah, to help me help you yeah, help yes. yourself yes yeah oh you mentioned paul rubin the other day and i watched that uh, Pee Wee herman movie that came out a few years ago uh, uh yeah uh, and and he says uh he says something like uh let me let let me let let me let me let you go or something like <laughs> funny when he decided yeah when he when he gets out of there um that's what we're doing thank you guys <laughs> i loved him in gotham okay uh, uh, you guys want to do awkward pause